Yo, what's going on, everybody? You're watching Knicks Now by Chat Sports. I am your host, Marshall Green, as we are off and we are live here on a Sunday. Happy Easter. Happy Easter to all the real ones out there. Um, if you're getting to spend the, to today with your family, enjoy it. Enjoy it. Uh, I wish I was doing that today, but um, you know we got a job to do. We got a job to do, and that's talk some New York Knicks basketball. So if you're able to see the fam, I hope you appreciate that. I hope you cherish that time. Um, I'll be with y'all though. I'm here with y'all. I'm here with my Knicks fam today. Shout out to everybody in the building. Uh, some housekeeping notes, as always. Still, Julius Randle is not going to play. OG Ananobi is not going to play. Julius Randle has not yet been cleared for contact still. And OG Ananobi has not participated in any contact drills at practice or in pregame warmups since he last re-injured that elbow that all of you told me he did not re-injure, but now he has missed eight games in a row. A little upset about the injuries coming into today's game. You only got eight games left. You only have eight games left. It's now or it's effing never. It, it, it's now or never. Um, I don't know what they're going to do. Uh, I don't know if they're going to be healthy. At this point, I have no reason to believe that they will be healthy. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. Let's just get a win today. Let's get a win today. As uh, you're playing the Oklahoma City Thunder, who are one of the best teams in the Western Conference, maybe have the MVP in Shea Gilgis-Alexander. Uh, you are currently tied with the Cleveland Cavaliers right now in third place. If you win, you go a game up. If you lose, you go a game down. So today is a big, big win. Let's get a dub today, and let's keep it pushing, and let's keep trying to catch that two seed in the Eastern Conference. As Tony Rivera coming in with a $2 Super Chat. What's up, Tony? Appreciate you tuning in. Happy Easter to you if you do celebrate. Says we need the win today. Salute. Brody, salute to you, Tony. Thanks for tapping in, and thanks for being a real one. I got some real ones in the chat. Says, let's go, Nick's new to the channel here with my husband, BX Bangin. That's my guy, BX Bangin, NY Reppin. What up, what up? Seems we got some good basketball on our hands today, though. Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, Nick? Yeah, Nick's, uh, Nick's going to need to get a bounce-back victory today. Um, I'm excited, though. Great test right before the NBA playoffs, and tell you what, tough little stretch here. You got the Thunder, Heat, Kings. It's going to be a good test for the Knicks, but I don't care how they do it. I don't care if it's Brunson getting 60, Brunson getting 10. You just got to come out tonight with a win. Get a win. Get a win, Jeffrey Cooperstein. Get a win. Uh, shout out to Joey DeLuca coming into the building, sending in a super chat, always showing love. Joey, uh, I'm going to take care of you this week, my man. Give me some time. I got a lot on my plate. Uh, but trust me, I didn't forget about you. You know what it is. I'm going to take care of you, brother. Good to see you, my man. As Patrick Seaman is now, now. in the We're building. Back. What's up, Patrick Seaman? Choppy start from Seeps. Hopefully the Knicks do not follow suit. You kind of just threw that away, Josh Hart style, first possession of the game. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't, uh, hopefully hopefully it doesn't, doesn't translate snowball. on the court. Hopefully it doesn't snowball. As Eric Trump coming in with a $20 super chat. What up, ED? Happy Sunday, brother. Happy Easter if you celebrate. Says, let's go, Knicks. Knicks greater than the Thun Turds. Get this dub. Shout out to Ty, man. First in the chat. Only thing special about today is a Knicks game for diehard real ones. Only colored eggs at my place are blue and orange. Let's go, Knicks. And still, F. Rolly. I love that. Rolly, he's in the studio right next to us. And he is being annoying as hell. So, of course, let's get the F. Rollies in the chat. Uh, that's just like taking your shoes off when you get to somebody's house. Tony Rivera coming back again, showing some love. Says, let's take a shot. I flew from PR to the game today. We'll get some wow. tequila shots rolling in a second, Tony. But first, Seeps, tell the people about our proud sponsor, Prize Picks. Yeah, if you guys said the prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use promo code CLNS. When you're making your first deposit, we'll match it up to $100. And this is the lineup I'm rolling with for the game tonight. I'm going to ride with the MVP favorite right now, SGA. I'm going to take his more on 28 and a half points. And I'm actually going to go for a wild card here. I don't think Bogey plays more than 10 minutes today. So I'm going to go less on one and a half three-pointers made. Even if he does play more than 10, I just, he has been terrible. So I'm going to take the less on one and a half threes made for him. 
And then Josh Hart. I took more uh, on six assists for Josh Hart today. So fade my picks, ride my picks. Make sure you guys do it at Prize Picks. Support the show, support the sponsor. Be a real one. PrizePicks.com slash CLNS. Promo code CLNS. Speaking of the real ones. There's nobody realer than my guy, Tony, for New Jersey. Bang! Bang! Shout out to my guy, Tony. Happy birthday weekend to you again, my man. It says a promise is a promise. Neither number hit for the 20 bet, but Seep's number hit later on a smaller bet. So here's their cut. Let's go, Knicks! I think that makes up for the choppy start right there. That makes up <laughs> the for the choppy start. The 33 hitting right there. Shout out to Tony. Give me some Tonys in the chat. My man, we appreciate you. And Tony, this gets you 10 tickets into the raffle that we are doing today. Today is the last day to enter the raffle. Tony, you're already a member of our Knicks Now Ring of Honor, so your name's already on the ball. But every $10 Super Chat we get today, or every $10 you send in today, is going to get you a ticket to win our signed Walt Clyde Frazier photo. Today is the last day of March, which means it is the last day for our raffle. So if you want to enter the raffle to win this here signed poster, today is the last day. There's a lot of names on the list. It took yeah. me about 45 minutes today to go through every single Super Chat and give everybody the right amount of tickets that they got. So, uh, shout out to y'all for all the love that y'all always show oh my this God, program, dude, there, man. There um, are a lot of names. I would say it's close to 300 names. Uh, yeah. Close to 300, maybe even 400. It took me about 40 minutes to get it done. Tony, you're the man, brother. Shout out to you. We're lucky to have you as a subscriber. And a real one here on this channel, my man. Happy birthday, brother. Happy effing birthday. Maya's World says, happy Easter Sunday to you guys. Marshy Green and also Patty Seatman. Happy happy Easter to you, Maya's World. Happy, happy Easter, Easter to you. Shout out to my guy, PX Banging, and Y Reppin' in the building. He said, what's good, fellas? What up? Billy says, is SGA the MVP favorite? I saw recently on NBA.com that they had Nikola Jokic as the number one guy. That was NBA.com's. So that's not necessarily the betting favorites. Uh, Shea is playing, though. Shea Gildas Alexander, he is playing. He was he was uh, doubtful yesterday, then updated to questionable, and now he is expected to play. Still no OG, still no Julius, and once again, no Mitchell Robinson tonight. He re-injured his ankle that he had surgery on last game, and now he's out. So um, it is... Uh, at some point, maybe you just got to face the music of this team's not going to be healthy this year. But who knows? Peter Wynn in the building. What's up, Mr. Peter Wynn? Good to see you, my friend. Good to see you. Johnson Hughes in the building. And he says it's his birthday. Is that it? <laughs> that doesn't even look real. 489 names. 489 names on the wheel. It wow. took me about 40 minutes to go. I wrote 489 names down. Who's got the ones? There's like one little special thing of blue right there. It's actually alternating blue and white. You just can't tell. Are you serious? Yes. Yeah, 489 names. 489 names. If yeah, we will be doing it tonight. Tony. Today is the last day to enter the raffle for the signed Walt Clyde Frazier poster. Uh, a $10 Super Chat will get you a ticket. Um, we will be doing it at the end of the game today. At the end of the game today, we will spin the wheel, and we will find out who the winner is. Happy Easter, Peter. Tony says, Luca definitely is the fan favorite, but I don't know how you can be a no-doubt MVP if your team just barely out of the plan. I'm right there with you. Creed says, I got one entry. I'm taking it home. I specifically remember writing Creed's name. He is in there. He is in there. I'm like scared to shuffle it. Can you not do different colors? It's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, here, I'll get the Knicks colors in here in a sec. Tony says, someone quick, give me the answer. Three times 12. I'm no mathematician. That's 36, I think. Right? Three, yeah, 12, 24, yeah, 36. Let's try, let's try. 180 people watching. If you haven't yet, hit that thumbs up icon for me. 
free, informative, entertaining updates. And today, we got a good one, as the New York Knicks will be hosting the Oklahoma City Thunder. Um, Thunder are one of my favorite teams to watch outside of the Knicks. I just love the way they play. I like the young players they got. Jalen Williams, I believe, is a superstar in the making. And it's going to take an A-plus game for the New York Knicks to win tonight. You know that they're going to be doing everything they can to slow down Jalen Brunson. And someone else is going to have to, to step up. Oh, fuck, Tony. That's on me. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> My bad. Johnson, you says Mitch posted that he ain't a bitch on IG. Why is he out again? It's a great question. <laughs> said, I ain't no bitch. Well, I'm not saying you are, but you are out yet again. Good news, though. Alec Burks is back in the lineup today. It's the past couple of games. How about an Alec Burks today? How about an Alec Burks today? I can see Bogey not playing tonight. Really? I, I, I can see Tibbs. Like, I mean, he was just so bad against the Spurs, especially with Shake getting some minutes. I could see him just going Milton and Burks as the guys off the bench instead of Burks and Bogey. Tamar Bowles in the building. What's up, man? What's up, Bashy? What up, Forgive? What up, what up, what up? Marvelous. Marlin. Fleming. What's up, man? Happy holidays. Happy holidays to everybody in the building. Mike says Yankees, of course, pulled it off. Today got the sweep. Mike, they look good. Those Yankees, Four man. Out. They look good, man. Wah. Now batting number 22, Juan Soto. Juan. Number 22. Juan Soto, man. That guy's pretty good at putting that barrel on that ball. Holy Toledo. He's already my favorite player on the Yankees. He is. Juan Soto's already my number one player on the Yankees. Uh, yes, Jalen Brunson is playing. No Randall, no OG, no Robinson. Uh, everybody else is playing, though. Everybody else is playing. Um... You know what? It's Sunday. It's Easter. If we get another hundred dollar super chat before tip off, uh, I'm, I'm I got a boot in me. I got a boot in me. Let's do it. Let's do it. If we get a hundred dollar super chat, if somebody matches Tony. I'm doing a boot to start today's show. Let's get right. Let's get right. David Teeks says, "When is Randall back?" I wish I had an answer for you, brother. Uh, I wish I do. Uh, nobody knows. Nobody has said anything. And I think the closer that we get to the end of the regular season, and we don't have some sort of day. I believe the likelihood of him playing this year goes down and down. I mean, Seeps, why would he? What's going to change from now to 12 days for Julius Randle? Yeah. What's going to change? What is going to change? He needs surgery. What's going to change for OG and Anobi in 12 days? Because it, it does kind of seem like they're both in the same spot where they're just playing that pain tolerance game. Yeah. I... OG hasn't been a part of any practice that has featured contact since he re-injured his elbow like we told you the night he did it. It's crazy how he played the next game. Like, I wonder if that was him saying, like, I know I'm going to have to play through this injury. I'm going to go try it out that, because I think it was a Kings game that Saturday. And then maybe eventually he's just like, I just can't do it. David T says, who do I think wins the championship this year in the NBA? If I had to bet, I would bet on the Thunder. Oh, yeah, the Nuggets, excuse me. I would be betting on the Nuggets. Are you buying into the Thunder for the postseason? Um, I think they'll be a tough out, but uh, there's about three or four teams I would take ahead of them. Yeah, probably the same camp. John Pettis is another week of shoulder strength. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um, Do you think they have like a, like a game like no doubt they're going to try to bring them back? Like, maybe three games left. Like, they're saying, like, even if you're still hurt, we're going to try to get you back here. I, I would hope because I, I don't want to have another situation where game one of the playoffs in round one is Randall's first time playing after an injury like it was last year. Yeah. Um, I don't think that's good for him, and I don't think that's good for this team. But you know what? We're going to find out a lot about this team in the next 15 days. Playoffs, the regular – um, the last day of the regular season is April 12th, I believe, for the Knicks. Um, it's going to be interesting. Shout out to my guy, Eric Trump! Coming with a $10 super chat. I'll tell you what, the amount of names that I wrote down, I'm not going to be shocked if Eric Trump wins it again. I, I had to just start writing Trump. 
because I was tired of writing Eric. I see that. <laughs> there's like 50 Eric drumps, and then there's like 50 just drumps. I almost went to ED after that. <laughs> yeah, I just was so many. Well, like I know for Seal Pasito, I started off as Seal Pasito, and then it went to Seal. And <laughs> I Am Jules went from I Am Jules to Jules. Um, and that. Tony for New Jersey just went to Tony. So uh, there's, a, there's a whole bunch of names on there. Definitely. Thank you for the super chat, brother. Thank you for supporting this channel. Thank you for always being a real one. Definitely heard Joey DeLuca yell, F the Boston bloody tampons. And last night I heard an F Rolly in the stadium. May have been me. May not have been me. It was all hazy. Three times free throws for sperms robbery. It was incredible the the difference in free throws in that game, Eric. Yeah. Trump. I understand that they have a seven foot four guy that no one on the Knicks could cover, and the only way they could really try to slow him down is by fouling him. But there's no way that Jalen Brunson has 30 points in the paint and he attempts three or four or five free throws or whatever it was. Um, I don't know what's going on with the refs. At this point, it's been that way for a month. So I don't think it's going to change. I think that's just the way that the Knicks are going to be officiated going forward. And they're going to have to find a way to be effective uh, even if they're not getting the calls that they would like. So they're going to have to come out today and with their big boy pants on, and if they fall down 7 nothing to the Thunder, this might be wraps. Yeah. This ain't the Spurs. You ain't coming back from down 21. That's been a pretty consistent theme throughout the year, too, for the Knicks, is those first four minutes of them. I mean, I mean the fake comeback. I mean, how many games this year have we said that? Here comes another fake comeback. <clears throat> it's just kind of been how they started these games lately. As a starting lineup for the Knicks will be Brunson, McBride, DiVincenzo, Hart, and Hartenstein. So they'll stay with that starting five as Randall, Ananobi, and Robinson are now, are now all out. <clears throat> we got 260 people watching. Could y'all please hit that thumbs up icon for me? Can we get to 100 likes? We got 260 people watching. We should be at minimum 100 likes. If you have liked the video, drop a me in the comment section so I know who the real ones are and the ones that I'm going to show love to in the comments. Tamar says we too small to play this team. Thunder are one of the smaller teams in the NBA. Yeah. They're going to have Jalen Williams at six foot six playing power forward. Um, I don't think you're too small against this team. And besides Chet, they don't really have another big. Yeah, and like, yeah, I don't, I don't agree with that, Tamar. I don't. I mean, they have bigger guards. Like, Dort and SGA are bigger, bigger guys at six five, six six, but... I don't look at the Thunder as a big team, though. Who are you putting on SGA? I think put Deuce on him. Deuce? Yeah. What's up, William Burton? Mike, why is Robinson out? He hurt the same ankle he had surgery on in December at the end of the game against the Spurs. So he's out. Um, not sure the severity of that, but severe enough for him not to play today. Johnson, you says Leon better work his magic and pay OG nowhere close to 40. That's going to be an interesting, interesting contract, man. Um, because if he's healthy, I think he's worth every bit of $40 million. But um, was not healthy this year. Only played 16 games for the Knicks, something like that. And he's had some injury issues in the past. Creed says, do you think this season is a wrap? Uh, no, I don't think it is a wrap. But I am starting to become more and more concerned about the injuries and the lack of any sort of development in the news as we are now eight games away from the regular season being over. Um, I believe that Julius Randle needs to come back in the regular season and work his way into a groove. He is a rhythm player. Um, he was terrible against the Cavs in the playoffs. Was he hurt? Yeah. Was it probably something that held him back? For sure. But that's kind of my point. Like, he tried to play his way back into game shape and basketball rhythm against the Cavs. And whether it was hurt or whatever it was, I think it was a combination of all of them. Um, so there's that. As the Thunder are starting SGA, Dort, Giddy, J-Dub, and Chet. So SGA, Lou Dort, Josh Giddy. I'd put Brunson on Giddy. Yeah. I'd put Brunson on Giddy. I'd put SGA or Deuce on SGA. I'd put Hart on Jalen Williams. And I would put DiVincenzo on Dort. 
NC State is up 12 with five minutes left. NC State is up. Do check out Tony's message. He's wanting to do some with his entries, if you could. Um, yeah, who, who would you like him to go to? He's calm. Just scroll up a little bit. It's in there. Yeah, I got you. Shout out to everybody in the building. 260 people watching. 75 likes. We're almost at 100. I think it'd be really cool if we got to 100 likes before today's game, as it is a big one. If the New York Knicks win today's game, they jump back into the three seed in the Eastern Conference. So the Knicks are back in the three seed if they're able to get a win today. So let's go get a win today. We are already in the third seed. We're, we're technically tied with the Cavs right now, Johnson, you because they lost. Yeah, we're tied, though. We're tied. Um, a win today, and you take full ownership of that. A win today, and you take full ownership of that. You lose today, you're in the four seed. You lose today, you're back in the four. Yeah, it's a, I don't know, Sam's. I don't know, Sam's myth. Um, yeah, I think it is very concerning that Mitchell Robinson played two games and then hurt himself with the same injury. I think it is very concerning that OG and OB came back and now he's out more time with the same injury. I also think it's concerning that the Knicks medical staff back in December, when Mitchell Robinson first hurt that leg, came back in the second half of that game and then had surgery two days later. Yeah. I also find it very concerning that OG Ananobi, after hurting his elbow against the Portland Trailblazers, he played the next game versus the Kings and then has not played since. Um, I don't want to say people are doing terrible at their job, but I will say that the New York Knicks medical staff should be um, should be on the hot seat. Um, like, how is that possible? How is that possible? And also, even though Hartenstein is playing today, he does have that right wrist sprain. Yep. Um, so that's a little concerning. So, yeah, I mean, uh, you're the most injured team in the NBA. Yeah. And I know things happen, but maybe, maybe I don't know. I'm just looking for someone to blame at this point, I guess. Yeah, Mitchell Robinson is hurt again with the same ankle injury. He is not playing today. Yeah, I guess the Grizzlies. <laughs> Grizzlies exist? I mean, who's been out for them? Ja, Bain. Triple J, Bane. Yeah. Bane's hurt too now? Yeah, they got all, I mean, all three of them. Are they hurt or are they tanking? Could be I know Ja bad. got hurt. Yeah, I think it was like... And I think Ja got the surgery because they wanted to tank. And also him missing the first 25 games of the year and them yeah. really not starting off well. But it's, I mean, for the large majority of the season, the Knicks have been to their backup center, their backup small forward, yeah. their backup power forward. Hey, get a win today. That's all that matters. Play get with the guys today. you have. Yeah, get a win today. So Duke lost. Yeah. It's going to be NC State, Purdue. Your two boys, DJ Burns, Zach Eady, going at it. Some guys know ball, some don't. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 11 likes away from 100 likes as we're about two minutes away from tip-off. We're watching some lineup introductions at Madison Square Garden. We gotta be moments away from tip off. You know, I feel you, John Pettit, and I'm not trying to blame I'm not trying to blame the Knicks injury staff. I'm just taking the information that for is what it is. Um, two times this season they said a player was healthy enough to return to game action, and then following that they have missed major time. They told us that Julius Randle would be reevaluated in two to three weeks. That was January 27th. It's April 1st tomorrow. At some point, 
That's like, crazy. Like it's it's not supposed to be this kind of mystery. It's not fair to your fans. Um, it's not fair to your to to the people that support this team. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like the way that the Knicks have had medical staff, and I'm sure that comes from the top down, considering that Leon Rose was afraid to speak to the media. I, I'm sure that that factors into this, but I, I think that there's a little where there's smoke there is sometimes. Fire. Reminder, no Randall, no Robinson, and no OG and an OB for the Knicks tonight. And Shea Gilgis-Alexander, despite being doubtful 24 hours ago, is going to suit, suit up and play. And he does not have a minute restriction. With a win today for the Knicks, you take full ownership of the three seed. With a loss, you fall back to the four seed. Every game from now until April 12th when the season is over is massive. It is massive. April 14th is the end of the regular season. You got two weeks. You got two weeks. I pray that someone someone with a holy hand touches Julius Randle's shoulder. They rub the elbow of OG and an Obi, and they kiss the ankle of Mitchell Robinson. They got to be healthy. They got to be healthy. What up, Jay Liv? Happy Easter, brother, if you celebrate. Good to see you, my man. As the Knicks will be wearing their blue jerseys with the black trim, reminiscent of the 90s and late or early 2000s jerseys, while the Oklahoma City Thunder will be wearing their orange jerseys. As the tip is up and it is controlled by the Oklahoma City Thunder. Giddy will bring it up. He'll shift it to the top to Williams. Williams is going to drive on Hart and then finds Giddy in the corner. They'll run a little two-man game. Now Giddy throws it cross court to Dort. Dort's going to drive and hand it off to Giddy, and Giddy's got a wide open layup. Josh Hart fell asleep on the first possession of the game. Brunson's going to be picked up by Dort here. I expect that to be the matchup for a large portion of the night. Goes off a couple of screens. He'll catch and fire. Right wing three. Jalen Brunson picks up right where he left off in San Antonio. And he's got a three to put the Knicks up here early. Jalen Williams. He'll throw it into the paint. Giddy will miss a layup, and Deuce McBride will secure the board. He'll throw it up ahead to Dante DiVincenzo, who drops it off to Brunson. Brunson guarded by Dort. In and out dribble. Drives to the baseline. His pass will be deflected out of bounds. What's up, brothers? Awesome. Let's go, Yankees. Brunson. Off the inbound, will drive and get it to Hart. Hart stepped through and lays it up and in. Love the backdoor cut by Hart to get to the cup. Knicks up by three. SGA will bring it up. He'll hand it off to Dort. Dort for three. That's no good. Josh Hart, lazy to get to the ball. He's able to save it. And he'll throw it right to DiVincenzo. Dante will bring it up. He'll have it on the right side. Going to get a little two-man game going with Hart and Stein. He'll launch. And that's way off by Dante DiVincenzo. Giddy with the board, and he'll look to push. He'll bring it up. Now hands it off to Dort. He'll try another three. That one's good. A wide open look for Dort. I don't know if I just have amne uh, if I'm just cursed from the game against the Spurs, but once again, I feel like the Knicks look a step slow on defense. Hard up top handling. He'll throw it to Hartenstein on the right wing. Hartenstein going to run the offense as he always does. Hands it off to Devo. Devo's going to turn the corner. Gets in the paint. Finds an open heart. Good who bad. kicks the deuce for a corner three. And it's blocked. Now the ball's loose. It's on the ground. And Jalen Williams beats the Knicks to it. And it's going to be a transition run out for Giddy. They may actually, the Knicks are going to benefit from a terrible call here. They're going to call shot clock violation. Even though, wow, Knicks, uh, Knicks got lucky there. That was a clear run out fast break, and they stopped the play due to a little violation. That was crazy. Jalen Williams up top, guarded by Hart. He'll step back, create some space, kicks it to the right wing to Giddy. Giddy's going to drive on DiVincenzo. Good job moving his feet. He'll find Chet in the corner. Five to shoot. Chet throws it back out. Thunder moving it around. Jalen Williams, right corner three. No good. Rebound by Hartenstein. Strong box out from him. 
He'll get it to Hart. Hart's going to go all the way. He'll lay it up and miss oh. it, but Hartstein cleans it up and throws it down over Chet Holmgren. What a play by Isaiah Hartstein. That's the energy this team's got to play with. As Holmgren comes down and hits a three right in Hartenstein's face. Didn't get back. It doesn't matter if you have an offensive put back if you're not going to play defense. This ain't playoff intensity. And you're eight, you're eight games away from it. Brunson up top. Gets a screen from Hartenstein. Gets downhill. Drops it off. Knight's pass. He'll try to create some space. He goes up with it and he turns it over. I thought he should have passed out of that. He had Giddy and Holmgren on him. As Giddy goes coast to coast. And good defense by Hart to force the miss. Rebound corralled. And now Brunson will bring it up. He's guarded by Giddy. He'll hand it off to DiVincenzo. Gets it to Hartenstein. Hartenstein back to Brunson. Brunson will drop it off to Ihart, who throws it into the corner and passes almost stolen. Four hundred people watching. If you could, please hit that thumbs up icon for the kids. Brunson will hand it, get a handoff from Hartenstein. He gets it to DiVincenzo. Launches an off balance three. No good. I don't like that shot. DiVincenzo launched two threes, and neither have been relatively close. SGA is going to post up on McBride, and he'll go to that patented fadeaway on the baseline, and he'll get it to go. Tough matchup for Deuce. He's a good defender, but he's given up about four or five inches guarding the taller SGA. Even Chenzo will have it. Throws it to Hartenstein. He throws a backdoor pass to Brunson. Brunson off the baseline. His shot no good. Rebound by Holmgren. Here comes OKC. 740 left to go. Holmgren's going to go all the way, and he'll lay it up off the glass. No good. Big rebound by Hart. Hart's now going to push it. Go, Josh, and he'll be fouled. Josh, the Knicks are going to need Josh Hart to score some points today. Yeah, definitely. Knicks are going to need him to score. He does look aggressive in transition early on today, which I like. Um, I feel like Hartenstein's got to bang a little more with, like, Chet. Like, we saw with Wemby, like, he's kind of – I mean, he's clearly more physically imposing than those guys. Go show it. Agreed. Brunson has it on the right wing. 15 seconds on the shot clock. A couple of jab steps here. And he'll take a step back three over Dort. And that's no good. Nick Seven got a good quality shot in a couple possessions now. As Giddy will bring it up, he'll get it to Holmgren. Holmgren's going to work on Hartenstein's spin move, and he's going to get called for a foul. As Chet's going to go to the line for a pair here after being whacked by Hartenstein. Chet at the line here. We're going to make it a potential five-point game as we're less than five minutes in. And he'll miss the first. He'll miss the first. Steven Blanus, what up? What's up, Steve? Chet's averaging 17 and 8 this year, but he misses both free throws there, and Brunson will collect the board. Let's get a good quality shot here, not a, not a step back right wing three. Brunson will have it up top, 15 on the shot clock, guarded by Dort, going to get a screen from Hartenstein. He'll kick it to DiVincenzo. He'll drive, love the take, lays it up. He missed it, but Hartenstein there for the offensive putback. Good things happen when you attack the rim. Thunder, we're in a little 3-2 zone on that last possession. Jalen Williams brings it up, gets downhill, kicks it out, pick and pop, Holmgren three, that's no good. Rebound by Hardenstein. He'll find DiVincenzo. I like to see DiVincenzo keep getting downhill. Brunson and Hardenstein, two-man game. He'll throw it into the corner to DiVincenzo. Quick pass to Deuce. Deuce, jab step. Step back. Over SGA for three. He missed it. Rebound by Giddy. Giddy will bring it up. Knicks one of six from deep here as Holmgren, Euro step into the lane, throws it down. Way too easy. Way too easy. Tough matchup from Hartenstein, but he's got to—he's he, just got to move his feet better. Brunson has it up top. They'll now move it around. Hart has it on the block. He doesn't look to shoot. He'll throw it out to Brunson. He'll now drive. Euro creates space. Right hand layup missed it. Brunson missed it. 
Then he gets the deflection hey. on the other end, stolen by DiVincenzo. Brunson now going the other way. He'll kick it out to Deuce for an open corner three. Good! Knicks are going to need Deuce McBride to continue to hit shots if they want to survive without Randall and Ananobi. Big shot by Deuce. Great job by Brunson. Once again, another wide open pick and pop three. He missed it. I'm not sure if that's in the game plan to let that happen, but it doesn't seem that smart. As the Knicks now will settle into their half-court offense with Hartenstein controlling up top. He'll create an off-ball screen for Brunson. He'll drop it off to JB. He'll throw it into the corner to Deuce. Deuce for three. No good. Up and down pace. No stoppage so far. And we're almost seven minutes into the game. Jalen Williams. He'll go to work on DiVincenzo. Gets into the lane. Step back. 14-footer. Good. That's tough. That's tough. It's nice when you're going to have a player that can get to that shot at any time, man. As Tom Thibodeau, I think, is going to call the first time out of the game. 14 to 12 here. SGA not even looking to score. I was going to say, hasn't, hasn't really been too active here early. And that one post up, fall away, baseline J. I feel like Brunton's, or Brunson's been almost hunting the three point ball a little too much here early. I like to see him work out in the lane a little more, but. Yeah, I, I haven't really necessarily liked the shot quality the Knicks have gotten. Um, those two right wing threes from DiVincenzo, yeah. neither of them were close and they were fading. Let's get a set shot here. Josh Hart passing up an open block, power dribble layup. Um, and also, I wouldn't hate giving Hartenstein a post up today. Like, if he's got Chet on him, like, make Chet work. Like, use what Hartenstein is so good at and just like burying other teams' bigs. You can definitely do that versus Chet. But while we are at the first TV timeout of the first quarter, I want to make sure you guys are hooked up with Prize Picks, the best daily fantasy sports app out there. And if you guys head to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use promo code right down there, CLNS, we will match your first deposit up to $100. So lineup I rolled with tonight, more on SGA, 28 and a half. It's like less on the bogey threes made at one and a half. And then I think Josh Hart is going to get it done in the assist column tonight. So I'm going to take more on six assists for Hart. Ride my picks, fade my picks, but whatever you guys do, make sure you guys do do it at Prize Picks. Support the show. It's a ton of fun. March Madness, NBA, I mean, basketball is heating up. So if you guys aren't with Prize Picks now, I actually don't know what you're doing. I make a lineup for damn near every game I watch. So get hooked up today. Shot to Prize Picks. We are tied for the fourth seed, 4K Anthony. We are tied. We are tied. So if you lost money with Boyan, We'll see. You think Boyan's knocking two threes down tonight? Hope we'll so. See. It's a little hedge my happiness there. If Boyan does, maybe, maybe, maybe that's what we need. Today the game bogey breaks out, or just gets back to who he was. Can't believe Wemby ruined a Brunson masterclass. Yeah, I mean, Nick's, Nick still had two chances to win that game. Dak in the building. What's up, Dak? <laughs> oh, that's funny as shit. Um, what's up, Bank? What up, Bank? Fourteen to twelve here early. Still over five minutes to go. The Knicks trying to hang in there and get a win as they're still battling with some injuries. No OG, no Randall, and now no Robinson yet again. As darkness, we are here. Brunson up top as the Thunder go back to this three-two zone they're running. Brunson trying to figure it out. He'll work out on that left elbow, guarded by Dort. Bounce pass to Deuce. Deuce drives off the feed. A lot of contact there, but no foul. Here comes SGA the other way. He'll bring it up. He gets right into the paint, kicks it out to the corner for three. No good. Rebound by Hart. Hart throws it up to Deuce. Nick's looking to run. He'll be guarded by Isaiah Joe. Deuce sizing him up on that left wing. Get it to Achua, who just subbed in for Hartenstein. Achua hands it off to DiVincenzo, who rips it across to the right side. Now Brunson will control. Ten on the shot clock. Brunson into the lane. Step back. Step through. 360. Jumper. No good. Hart, though. With the offensive board, it's going to result in a DiVincenzo three. Dante DiVincenzo knocks it in off the left wing. And we're going to have another quick timeout by OKC. 
It's a way better shot right there. Off an offensive rebound, kick out, Devo's walking into that one instead of him trying to force one on the deep from the right wing. Pack says, can I dono to get the drinks flowing? Dak, you can, brother. You can. Dak, you sent in a $20 super chat. I got a beer shotgun for you. How about that? Get the juice going here. It's Easter. Uh, let's celebrate a little bit. Easter, I'll do a little Easter, shoddy for Easter. a little 20 piece. A little shoddy. How about that? Get the good vibes going. You know, I'll do a four, or first quarter deal. First quarter deal? First quarter deal. I, you know what? Screw it. <laughs> Somebody sends in a 50. I'll do a boot for the first quarter. Only first quarter. Really? Yes. That's it. A that would be my deal. And also, I'll write your name on my boot, too. I want to I get it back going. It's Easter. Trying to have some fun tonight. Only first quarter, though. Only first quarter. Only first quarter. All right. I got a little shoddy piece for a 20. It'll also get you guys tickets to the Walt Clyde uh, Frazier. Exactly. For all Reminder as well. Every $10 you send in today via Super Chats, you will enter our raffle. At the end of the show, we're going to spin the wheel, find out who the winner of this is. If you want to enter, have a chance to win. Sign Walt Clyde Frazier photo. Today is the last day. It's the last day of March, which means it's the last day of our March giveaway. So stick around to the end of the show. You might be just the winner of this. And we have like 400 names in the raffle, so I want to increase your chances. 525 people watching, only 140 likes. Can we get the likes up? Can we get the likes up? Hit the thumbs up icon. If you have liked the video, drop a me for me down in the comment section so I know who the real ones are. Also, that was Gordon Hayward checking in for the Thunder. Is that who shot that corner three? Yeah. 33. I wanted to say, wanted to say Muscala. That's what, dude, I thought it was like one of those foreign stretch four big. No, that was Gordon Hayward. It's Jason Bateman's in this uh, building tonight. Jason Bateman? The Ozark guy. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Victor Cruz is also there. They're showing Cruz go down the sideline against the Dallas Cowboys Ooh. to secure the NFC's title. And you hear the MSG faithful. Yeah. And his daughter's there with him, too. Get my salsa cruise on. Yeah, I don't know about that salsa. The Victor Cruz salsa. One of the coolest celebrations of all time. It wasn't like too much, but it was just like, it was just like the right amount of sauce. It was just the right amount of sauce. And it was like every time he got there, you knew he was doing it. Let's go. What's up, Nelson? You know that Tom Thibodeau was 0-3 against the Thunder in Madison Square Garden as a coach? Now I do. Now I do. What's up, Malcolm McBride? Here we go. 15, 14, four minutes to go. Thunder will control. The bigger Jalen Williams up top, hands it off to SGA. He'll turn the corner. Deuce on his case, case kicks it out to him, and he'll get it back now. SGA is going to try it again. Nick's really packing the paint here as SGA tries to draw a foul. Won't get it. And DiVincenzo saves. He loves the extra. Oh, okay. 24-second shot clock violation. It's going to be Nick's ball. Going that way. As my guy Dak coming in with the $20 super chat. He said this better pay dividends when I come to Texas. Dak, you're good. You come here. We'll take care of you on Rolly's dime. For sure. I don't know he's time. Next TV timeout. I'm going beer shotgun. And let's go. Shout to Dak. That's love. Brunson up top. Work at the two-man game. Kicks it to Hart. Open three. Missed it. Josh Hart just off there on the right wing three. As the Knicks are up by one. SGA will bring it up. He'll find Dort. Who's looking to get downhill. Hands it off to Hayward. Good ball movement here by OKC. SGA snakes and slithering his way into the paint. Layup no good. Rebound by the Knicks. It's a five on three. Josh Hart will bring it up. He'll find Achua in the paint who lays it up and in. Nice offensive possession there for the Knicks. Let's go. Come on. SGA guarded by Deuce. Drives. He'll push off. Mitty. No good. Big rebound by Hart again. Here come the Knicks. They got numbers again. Go, Josh. He'll get downhill. Finds an open. Chenzo, who throws it off the backboard from the corner. Just a bad no shot. No good. Bad shot. Gordon Hayward drives. Loses it. This ball is slippery. As Dort will now try a right wing three. That's no good. Another great rebound by Hart. He's looking to go again. Here goes Josh Hart. Here we go. Hart lays it up. 
Oh. And they're going to call a block. That sure looked like a charge to me. Hopefully we get to the line quickly. I love the way he's pushing the pace, though, today. You can feel Josh Hart's being active, and he is fully engaged for this game. He's already got seven rebounds in the first quarter. That might have been a charge. I will say, I don't know if it's injury for SGA. I feel like he's not being as just active in the offense. I remember the last time we watched the Thunder, though, he was slow to get involved. Maybe it's just his tendencies in the first quarter, and he really starts getting it going. As Hart knocks in the first free throw, and DiVincenzo and Brunson will go to the bench, and the Detroit boys will sub in. <laughs> Alec Burks and Bogdanovich will sub in for New it, York. It is such a terrible feeling I get when I see those two Detroit Piston boys walking in the game, man. Here it, go bum bogey. I yep. really feel like I'm getting kicked in the nuts when I see him <laughs> check in. As Josh Hart. Goes two for two from the line. Knicks go up by five with two minutes and ten seconds to go. Gordon Hayward looking to get downhill off the screen. His shot no good. Rebound by Achua. He'll find Hart, and Hart will bring it up the right side. He'll come off the screen. He'll find McBride in the corner. Deuce had the open three, didn't take it, and then he throws it right off the hands of Hart, but he's able to track it back down. It's on the shot clock. Deuce gets a screen. Throws it out to Hart. Hart turns the corner. He's in the lane. His punch shot up and in. This might be a Josh Hart master class. And that's exactly what this New York Knicks team needs. Leading scorer so far, Josh Hart. Knicks on a 9-0 run in the last two and a half minutes. As SGA is working that pick and roll, he'll kick it out. Williams, three, fucking banked it in. He missed that by about five feet, too. Fucking banked it in from straight on. That's a joke. Should be a technical foul. McBride has it up top. Nick's moving around. Bogey into the lane. He'll drive and now kick. Hart's going to post up SGA here. 10 on the shot clock. Plenty of time. Hart working out of the post. Out to Achua. He'll launch it three. Now almost halfway down. No good. Rebound by the Thunder. SGA will bring it up as we got 60 seconds left in the corner. Good Deuce feet. doing a good job in front of doing a good job by staying in front of SGA. Isaiah Joe will try a three. No good. Rebound by Alec Burks. Nick's defense has looked pretty good here in the first quarter outside of the first couple possessions. Burks off the screen. Gets to the mid-range. Takes a contested J. Oh, I uh, hate that shot. Terrible. Hate that shot there. And now SGA will bring it up yet again. Deuce guarding him. He'll try a step back triple. That's no good. Great. He looks a little bit off right now. Nick's need to capitalize. 30 seconds left in the quarter. Two for one is essentially dead. Let's let's just now go get a good look. Bogey off the handoff from Achua. He'll now use the screen. Guarded by Hayward. Attacks the rim. He's fouled. Bogey will go to the line for two of the downhill take. What's up, Charlie? What up, Frankie? I'd rather have Knox and the Aquina again than some of the Piston boys. You know who I think the only person in the NBA that could guard Jalen Brunson is? No. I think it's Deuce McBride. <laughs> His feet are so quick on defense. I mean, SGA is kind of similar to Brunson where they, you know, change their speed constantly. I mean, Deuce is just step, step for step with him right now. As Bogey misses the first. Knocks down the second. Bogey knocks down the second. As Jalen Williams, the guard, will hold for the final shot. He's shot. He's guarded by Achua. Puts it on the deck. Blows by him. And the Knicks will foul. They had one to give. As Giddy will throw it in. Four seconds left to shoot. Giddy to SGA blocked by Achua. Rebound by Burks. His three-quarter shot is up. Oh, oh, it was almost in. As the New York Knicks win the first quarter, 22 to 17.
Deuce is playing his butt off so far. Deuce is playing his butt off so far. Grade the first quarter for me. See if you want to go grab me one of those yeah. ones that aren't in the fridge. And then I think the shotgun tool is by my monitor. Shout out to my guy Dak. Came in with a $20 super chat. Got him two tickets into the raffle to win the signed Walt Clyde Frazier poster. And I told him I do got a beer shotgun. If someone sends in another 20, Seeps is going to race me. Seeps said if we get another 20, we're going racing. And he does say that, cash out, James. He does say that. Charlie C. says, please say happy Easter to my mom and dad. Charlie C.'s parents, happy Easter. Happy Easter to everybody who's watching that is celebrating. You want to you give me a warm one? <laughs> Are you talking? Oh, Jeremy? Dad, that was bad. T.A. Cowboy says, precious is M.I.A. He had a good block there on SGA. He had a good block on SGA. I would give the quarter a B. I'd give the quarter, honestly, defense, i give it an A minus. Offense, about a B minus. So that averages out to a B plus-ish, kind of, maybe. Um, uh, what's up, Daniel Rodriguez? What's up, man? Did he? He's a dog. Here we go. Shout out to my guy, Dak. Shout out to Happy Dad. Let's rock. We're at $156 in Super Chats. If we get to $200, i will do another one. How about that? Shout out to Dax. Appreciate it. And Charlie C. Same. Please say Happy Easter to my mom and dad. Happy Easter to the parents. Of Charlie C. You want to grab it? Is there, do you have a trash can by you or somewhere? I would grab them. Cool. All right, here we go. Second quarter underway. Deuce McBride will drive and kick. Alec Burks in the corner. He'll drive. He'll get all the way. Oh, my goodness. He's met at the rim by Jalen Williams. He sent that to half court. Deuce will recover. Five on the shot clock. He'll have to launch from the mid range. He does, and he gets it to go. The high arcing mid range day for Deuce. Woo! Needed that. Thunder working out of the high post here. Jalen Williams catches it weak side. Guarded by Hart. He'll use the screen. Picks his dribble up. Now he throws it the other way. Good defense here by Burks. Five on the shot clock. Josh Hart's going to have to close it out against Jalen Williams. Force him into a tough mid-range J and he gets it to go. That's, that's a, that is a superstar shot. You get to 12 feet. You rise up and you fall away. It's an un unguardable shot. That's going to be an offensive foul on Josh Hart. As Isaiah Hartenstein checks in for Josh Hart. Josh Hart will sit down. Hartenstein will check back in. As it's Holmgren, Williams, Wallace, Williams, and Wiggins on the floor for OKC. Oh, Williams, wide open lay. Or is that Wiggins? Uh, I think that's Williams. Kenrich Williams, yeah. Isaiah Hartenstein hands it off to Bogey. Bogey's going to turn the corner, gets into the lane, lays it up, and he's blocked by Chet. And now Thunder are out and running. Wallace will go all the way. Missed it, but it's Chua batted it out of bounds. Out of, out of bounds. Will be Thunderball on the baseline here. 650 people watching, 172 likes. That's embarrassing. Please hit that thumbs up icon for me. Let's get to 200 likes. As Kenner Williams will throw it in. He'll get it to Jalen Williams. He'll drive and he'll smooth his yeah. butter his way oh. through the lane and lay it in. Jalen Williams, he's the best player that nobody talks about in this league. 100%. Everyone talks about SGA. Jalen Williams is a stud. Alec Burks up top, uses the screen from Hartenstein, gets it in the lane. He'll bank it off the glass, no good. 
He just takes some bad shots, and I did not miss him while he was out these last two games. As Case and Wallace will bring it up. He'll now get it to Jalen. Jalen drops it off to Chet. Chet in the lane. Guarded by Iheart. Force him into a tough shot. They're going to call it travel. Travel. Knicks ball going that way. Come on. You haven't scored yet in the quarter. They scored two points in this quarter. What's up, OG? Because we, hey, we just have to maintain a top defense versus a top offense. Let's go. Shout out to OG. Happy Easter if you celebrate, brother. Alec Burks up top, guarded by Jalen. Now now swinging around to Deuce. Deuce on the right wing, 10 on the shot clock. He'll get it to Iheart. Iheart's now going to work out of that high post. He'll just drive on Harden. Oh, there what a play. Go. That's what you wanted to see, Seeps, and I love that they went to it. Yep. Fake the handoff right there. Turn the corner. Too big. As Williams, or Wiggins, I believe. Yeah, it's Wiggins. He'll drive and he'll miss his baby jumper. Rebound, though, by OKC. Back out to Jalen. Jalen Williams, fall away too. Good. Bro. He's been automatic in that mid range. I mean, that's nasty. Sharon Myers, I apologize. There's other people that do what we do. You can go check them out. I apologize, man. Alec Burks up top, going to get a screen from Deuce. Now they'll throw it to Bogey. He'll operate out of the mid-range. Faces up Williams, blows by him, floater up and in. Strong go. take by Bogey. Williams will now bring it up. He'll go coast to coast. He's fouled. And they're going to, I think they said that was on the floor. So Williams and Wiggins look identical. Dude. <laughs> Kenrich, Williams, and Wiggins, yeah, they're, they're throwing me off. You got four Williams and you got a Williams, you got a Wiggins, and you got a Williams and a and, and another Williams. <laughs> yeah, I, I hate playing the Thunder. In the game, you got Williams, Wallace, Williams, Wiggins. <laughs> How am I supposed to get all those right? And the Williams and Wiggins have the same hair and look the exact same as Jalen Williams, and you got two Jalen Williams. I'll knock down the first free throw. 36 on 17 shots last time the Knicks squared off with the Thunder. It was his career high. He cooked him. Yep. He's doing it again. As he cuts the lead to one after making both free throws. As Deuce, Achua, Hartenstein, Burks, and Bogey are on the floor for New York. Bogey off the screen. He'll launch a three. No good. Rebound by Chet. He'll just bring it up himself. Chua having a guard on the perimeter here. As McBride doing a good job in the corner, giving up some size, moving his feet, force him into a tough pass, but Jalen Williams, an open three up top. He missed it. Burks poked it away. Achua gets beat to the ball. Achua gets beat to the ball, and Williams lays it up. He missed it. Holmgren, and they're going to call foul. Williams is taking over this game. Well, was at the line here. First one, no good. No good. Ball don't lie. Ball don't lie, baby. Give me those BDLs in the chat. BDLs in the chat. As McBride and Achua will sit down, and Josh Hart and Brunson will check back in for the Knicks. As we got a, twa, a tied game here at 28. 28-28. Burks will control. We're going to get it to Brunson. He'll have to relocate to Hartenstein. Hartenstein now hands it off to Brunson. Brunson will turn the corner. Step back. Looking to go to work on Wallace. Has him at the foul line. Takes him into the post. Finds it open. Burks in the corner for three. And he gets it to go. Big time shot by Burks. Great find by Brunson. Nick's back up by three. Knicks are up to 4.15 from downtown. It's Kenrich Williams for three. That's no good. But the Knicks are beat to the glass yet again. And then Williams drives and lays it up. Knicks have no answer for Jalen Williams, and they have no answer for the glass right now. Tibbs is barking at somebody. I'm not sure who it was. Already giving up three offensive rebounds. Interesting game right now. Jalen Brunson, one of five. SGA, one of six. 
other guy. Couldn't tell who he was little yelling at. Cash out says it was at Bogey. I could I can't tell. I didn't get that good of a view. We're at the first TV timeout of the second quarter. Got to make sure you guys are hooked up with today's sponsor. It is Prize Picks, and I love the lineup I cooked up today. I took the more on SGA points at 28 and a half. Not looking good right now, but he's a big second half player, so I think he'll end up getting there. And then I took a less on one and a half threes made for Bogey. Hasn't made one yet. Um, hoping that stays true. And then I took more on six assists for Josh Hart. He's at two assists right now. Um, I think that's going to end up cashing, but. You know, if you want to fade my picks or ride with my picks, do it at Prize Picks. Download that, uh, make your first deposit, and use code CLNS, and we'll match it up to $100. Get hooked up today. Best time of the year to do so. Uh, we would really appreciate it. Reminder, today is March 31st, which means it is our last day for selling raffle tickets to win the signed Walt Clyde Frazier photo. A $10 Super Chat will get you a ticket. A $20 Super Chat will get you two tickets. Every $10 you send in today will get you a ticket. Preet says, who on, who's on Williams? Um, they've tried a couple different people, and they haven't done much. He's 5 of 7. He's got 13 points. We saw Josh Hart on him for a little bit. Um, and the Knicks were having to go through a couple of rotations and substitutions. But that's where we're at. As Michael Strahan is in the building at Madison Square Garden. 1714. 1714. World champs. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Y'all know about that. Seventeen fourteen, fellas. Seventeen fourteen. One touchdown. We are world champions. Believe it, and it will happen. 17-14. Nobody knows what I'm talking about? I guess y'all aren't Giants fans. Bill's in the chat. He knows. Bill knows. Yes, sir, J-Liv. J-Liv and Bill, two guys I can always count on. Here we go. 31-30, seven and a half to go. Hartenstein has it at the top of the key. He'll hand it off to Brunson. Brunson launches a three in and out. Rebound, though, controlled by Bogey, and he'll throw it off the glass and in. If you believe it, it will happen. As Jalen Williams drives, and he'll pull up from that same spot, and he'll get it to go. This is a game you really miss a guy like OG and Obi. To throw him out on him, right now, you're, you you can't stop him. As Brunson gets in the lane, kicks it out to Hart. Hart drives off the catch, pump fake, spin around, playing off two, throws it to Hartenstein. He'll body up Chet, and he'll get that left-hand hook shot to go. Nick's up by three. Hartenstein's already up to eight points and six boards. Jalen Williams up top. He blows right by Hart. He lays it up and Oh, he missed the layup. He got to his spot. Rebound by Hart. Hart's looking to go. He'll go all the way. He shoulders Wallace. He lays it up, and he missed it. No call. No call. Now Wallace will push. Thunder have numbers. Henrich Williams. Now we'll work out of that post. He'll get it to a cutting Williams. Oh, my gosh. This ball movement's beautiful. That three's off the mark. Bogey with a board. I did it. I did, Jay Liv. I did. Brunson's now going to work out of the post. He'll get into the lane. Gets an easy look, and he gets it to go. One of the best back-to-the-basket players in this league. And the Knicks go up by five. Timeout, OKC. Seventeen, fourteen, fellas. One touchdown, and we are world champions. I love that sound. Love me some Michael Strahan. 
Love me some straight hand. 730 people watching, only 213 likes. Please hit that thumbs up icon for me. Please hit that thumbs up icon for me. Let's go. C. P. J. What's up, CPJ? Bill, I like your taste. I like your taste. This is still a Knicks and Cruz ball game. Never forget when Bill Belichick said that, and then Mario Manningham hit him for 45 down the sideline to win the game. This is still a Knicks and Cruz ball game. Make them go to Manningham. Make them go to Pasco. <laughs> yeah, how about that, Billy Belichick? Manningham, sideline, toe tap, caught. First down, Giants. It's going all right, CPJ. It's going all right, my man. I uh, wish I got to see the fam today for Easter, but you know what? It is. It's just all part of the biz. It's all part of the grind. Um, I'm happy to be here. Happy to watch this team play some hoops today. Uh, they're playing with good effort. I can appreciate that. And let's go get this win. How about we go get a win today? Let's go steal one. Let's get back on track. You win today. You got sole ownership a third. If you lose, you're back and forth. Do we know when OG Ananobi is coming back? We do not. We do not. He has not been participating in the contact portions of practice. Julius Randle, still not cleared for contact. Still at a TV timeout here. We are 19 subs away from 36,800. If you're not subscribed, do it. Hit the sub button. We put out videos every day, and we go live for every game day. Hit that subscribe button. 36,800 subs. Let's go. I think you're right, CPJ. I think you're right. Here we go. Back to hoops. Under six minutes to go. Starters are back in the game for the Knicks. As big Jalen Williams. He'll drive. Euro step in the lane. He'll miss it. Gets his own rebound. Then gets, gets rewarded for a foul. The center, Jalen Williams, will go to the line for two here. With 541 left to go in the half. His first free throw is good. Bounce off the front rim and rolls in. Second free throw is also good. Back to a four-point game here. As Hart will throw it in and bring it up. 5.30 to go. Hart looking to get this offense rolling again as the Thunder go back to that kind of 2-3, two, 3-2 three, three, two zone. It's almost like they just had that other guy loaded up on the heavy side. Brunson's going to drive and kick. Deuce for three. No good. That's going to be a foul on SGA. Yep. SGA held down DiVincenzo on the block out so he couldn't get to the ball. So the Rock will stay with the Knicks. Creed, send me that article, brother. Send me that article. I'd love to read it. Ten on the shot clock. Even Chenzo will control. Guarded by Kayvon or Kaysen Wallace. And now give it to Brunson. Brunson double. Nice inside pass to Hardenstein. Hardenstein lays it up. Oh. No good. That rolled around the rim. It sat on the back. But there's going to be a foul called. So iHeart's got two coming. What's up, Terrence? What's up, Terrence? Hartenstein going to the line for two free ones here. His first free throw is up and good. Creed, I appreciate you, bro. Nick's back up by four here with just over five minutes to go. Low-scoring game. Low-scoring game. 
Ihart, second free throw, good. Mix up by five. Five minutes to go. Well, that's Rock. SGA will bring it up. Deuce guarding him. Hartstein's got 10 of the 39 points for the Knicks. As Jalen Williams rips it in the corner to Dort. Dort blows by Brunson. He bumps him. And they're going to call an offensive go. foul. <laughs> Jalen Brunson able to draw the foul. Dort throws kind of a violent shoulder at him. And that'll be Nick's ball heading that way. Nick's ball heading that way. Come on, close out these five minutes. Close out these final five minutes here. Let's go. Only two turnovers for the Knicks. They've taken care of the pill tonight. They'll move it around. DiVincenzo from the corner. He's been off tonight. Josh Hart looking at it for the board. And he's on the ground. And he'll get it. And he'll rip it away. And then he'll have it ripped from him. And we're just going to have a jump ball. Ref's letting them get pretty physical there. Feels like playoff basketball today. That, that he's holding Josh Hart's arm. It looks like it's going to be a jump ball with Josh Hart and the center, Jalen Williams. He just said something about Josh Hart. I don't know what he said. Victor, I didn't see it. Yeah. As the Thunder will win the jump ball, Edie has to save it from going out of bounds. So essentially a turnover for the Knicks. Dort will bring it up. He'll hesitate at the top of the key. He'll drive. Now gets it to Giddy. Giddy drives. He'll swing. Dort, corner three. No good. Rebound by Deuce. Go. Go. He'll get it to DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo stops. He pops for three. No good. He's been off all night long. And now Giddy will drive on Dante. Doing a good job of stopping the ball. And now the Knicks will settle into their half-court defense. SGA, he's been relatively quiet. He'll drive blocked Dude. by DiVincenzo from the backside. Done a great job on SGA so far. Only two points, one rebound, one assist on uh, seven shots, one of seven. What a play. DiVincenzo almost just grabbed it out of his hands. Now Dort will drive on Brunson. He'll pump, and then Brunson almost stole it. Dort's going to... Go to the line, it looks like, for two here. He's been awfully physical. How is that a foul? I don't I don't see that. How is that a foul? So I think DiVincenzo, DiVincenzo might be one of the best blocking guards in the yeah. NBA. Dort will go to the line, and he'll make the first. Wade-esque. Dort, second free throw. No good. Ball don't lie. Give me some BDLs in the chat. Brunson will bring it up as we got less than four minutes to go in the half. OKC is 6 of 10 from the line. Brunson up top. Guarded by Dort. He'll swing it to Hart. Hart to McBride. McBride back to Brunson. He'll have it on the left side. 10 on the shot clock. He's doubled. He finds DiVincenzo. Drops it off to Hart. He's on that right block, and Hart forced a terrible pass to McBride turnover. Threw it at his legs? Horrible pass by Josh Hart. SGA will bring it up. McBride on him. He gets in that defensive stance, pushes him to the right, uses the screen. He'll throw it to Digger, Jalen Williams in the corner. He hands it off to Isaiah Joe. Who drives baseline. Thunder moving it around. SGA open three. Good. Only a matter of time before he got locked in, and he just saw one fall. Hopefully that doesn't get him going. Three minutes to go. Brunson up top. Nick seed him to score some. He hasn't done much of it tonight. He's guarded by Dort. Forces his way into the lane here. Takes a tough shot. He's fouled and one! Jalen Brunson gets it to go! <laughs> Count it! And the foul! He was fouled like three times prior to that by Lou Dort. Let's go, man. As he's saying, I got one finally after. What's up, what's up, Randall? 
Three minutes left as JB gets MVP chance from the Garden Faithful. He's at the line here looking to make it a four-point play or three-point play in a four-point game, and he does. And he does. SGA will bring it up for OKC. Started by Deuce. He's done a great job on him tonight. Forced him to the left. SGA pulls up. He picks up his dribble, and now the Thunder will reset. Giddy will run a pick and roll with Jalen Williams. He'll pick up his dribble. Now he'll just launch for the foul line. No good. Great box out by DiVincenzo. And Brunson will grab the loose ball. He throws it up ahead to Achua. A terrible pass turnover. What the fuck is he doing, man? And now an open three in transition for Isaiah Joe. That's a five-point swing. You have the ball going that way up four. And Jalen Brunson throws a horrible pass. And it's a turnover. And you allow a three on the other end. Smart plays win the game. Be smart. Now Brunson will drive and he'll turn it over. Back-to-back -back turnovers for Brunson. Now he's down on the ground and he looks hurt. Has not gotten up. He's still down and it's a dunk for OKC. Four turnovers. We literally said two minutes ago as Jalen Brunson looks to be severely hurt. This team is fucked. As he's walking under his own power to the bench. He stepped on Lou Dort's foot, and he immediately grabbed that left knee. You have two turnovers two seconds ago, and then you have a Josh Hart turnover, layup on the other end, Jalen Brunson turnover, three on the other end, another Jalen Brunson turnover, a dunk on the other end. That's seven points right there off turnovers. He looks to be all right. He's on the bench in the team huddle. Take care of the ball, man. Why, why are we throwing a three-quarters court pass to Precious Achua under the rim? Jalen was just talking with his pops on the bench. His pops kind of getting on him a little bit. 820 people watching. Subscribe to the channel. We're 15 subs away from 36,800. As Brunson will stay in the game, and he looks to be all right. Dort will guard him. He'll continue to bring that physicality. He'll drive on Dort. He's pumped. Dort has been literally hand-checking him the entire game. It's like a, and it's all, it's almost like a hip check. Anytime Brunson's trying to turn the corner, he like kind of throws his hip out, and they haven't been calling it until there. So he'll have it up top. Ten on the shot clock. Here comes a screen from Achua. He'll use it. Turns the corner. Pulls up from the foul line. Finds an open deuce in the corner. Who kicks it to Chenzo? Chenzo rip through. Drive strong. Take scoop. No good. Rebound by Achua. Who taps it up and in. Good things happen when you put pressure on the rim. He is. He doesn't look right. Knicks staying in this game with 15 second chance points. That's and then travel. SGA just walked his way into the lane and laid it up and in off the glass. Two point game or one point game. Steven Chenzo has it on the left side. Throws it back to the right side to Brunson. Brunson going to use the Achua screen. He'll attack the close. He'll swing it. Chenzo from deep. No good. Achua saves the possession. And David Chenzo rockets it to McBride. And on the shot clock. Plenty of time. We don't need to work out on that Achua post up. We'll get it to Hart on the dotted line. He'll bank it up. No good. Point blank shot by Hart. Smoked. Now Giddy will push. He'll get it to SGA. SGA to Isaiah Joe. His three. Good. We were up five with five minutes to go, and we said close the quarter. Knicks have not done that. They've allowed OKC to go on a 10-2 run in the last minute and 40 seconds. As all they're doing is forcing the ball out of Jalen Brunson's hand and forcing someone else to beat them, the Knicks don't have anyone else to do it. They'll have to go super mode. Again, Brunson three, and he's hurt. He's hurt. And he gets fouled by Dort, and he's grabbing his knee again.
as they're going to review the call to see if it was a flagrant. Um, at, at, at worst, it'll be three free throws for the Knicks. Um, uh, that's four on Dort. Really? Yeah. Four fouls on Dort, that's going to be big. Four fouls. Because, <clears throat> I mean, Dort is a tough – a tough matchup for Brunson, just because he can match his physicality when he's trying to get in the lane. He's extremely quick feet, too, but... He's been really physical. Four fouls is big. LeBron James tonight, 9 of 10 from downtown. Really? Yeah. He's got 40 on 107% true shooting. Um, I just had a Giants go out. Could you just get the comments on there? Yeah. I'm scheduled for seven. I forgot about that. They are going to call this a common foul, which means Brunson uh, will go to the line for three here. It will not be a flagrant. It will just be three free throws. Four fouls on Dort. That'll be something to monitor as we progress in this ball game. But Tom Thibodeau is barking with the officials. Brunson, first free throw. Good. that he said Brunson has 40 assists and four turnovers in his last like however many games That's good stuff right there two, two of, of them, them just came yeah. in a matter of a minute yeah Brunson second free throw no good no good makes the first misses the second third is up and good so we got a two-point game with 32 and a half seconds to go as OKC will bring it up. It'll be Jalen Williams controlling. Josh Hart guarding him. Here comes a screen from SGA. He won't even use it. He'll just get to that mid-range jumper and pull up. And he is just walking Josh Hart like a dog wherever he wants to take him. Josh Hart has not done anything to affect Jalen Williams whatsoever today. Brunson brings it up, gets it to Deuce. Deuce right back to him. Ten on the clock. Here comes a double. Brunson sees it. He'll get it to Hart at the elbow. He'll swing. Open three. Chenzo. No good. Hart trying to save it. He didn't. And then we'll go to the half. Knicks down by four. One of eight from downtown for Chenzo in the first half. Knicks are up five with three minutes left, <laughs> and they allow him to go on a like a 12 to three run. And they had seven points off. Two turnovers for the Knicks. Jalen Williams is pretty damn good. Yeah. I mean, look, no OG, no Randall, and you don't have anybody else on your team outside of Hardenstein with more than six points. Like, that's why I, I understand the Thunder have a better record than the Knicks. But the argument for SGA being higher in the MVP race over Brunson, yeah, he's averaging three more points per game. But, like, he's got guys like Chet and Jalen Williams playing every single night. Like, could you imagine Brunson having those two guys with him the entire year? I'm pretty sure Chet's played every single game as well. Jalen Williams is legit. Star. Who shoots 53.6% from the field and 43% from the field? Yes. 43% from three. 
13 on 10 shots here. They're missing OG today. That one. They're missing OG today. They don't have anyone then guard Jalen Williams. the story of the game. He's been the best player by far. And he's just like, he, he just gets to a spot so easily. And he's kind of got some physicality to him where it's just like one quick bump. He can rise up, get to it. Seven um, of eight from two. Yeah, seven of eight. Yeah, that, that's incredible. He's been uh, great. Chet, you haven't really feel his impact too, too much besides like that first little couple possessions of the first quarter. I um, thought Hardenstein definitely turned that game around. Definitely started to win that matchup. SJ was quiet, uh, definitely. But I would also anticipate he's going to try to insert himself into this third quarter. Yeah, he's definitely going to look to take over. Uh, he's coming off an injury. He was doubtful 24 hours ago. Um, yeah. So he's playing through it. Um, it's also the Knicks from downtown are 4 of 21, 19%. And a big reason of that is Dante, 1 of 8. And the one three he made was – the best look, like, I mean, I feel like a lot of the times, I mean, March, I mean, the one where he was falling away in the left corner yeah, and it hit the top the of the backboard, that was on a fast break. Like, I just think he just needs to feel a little smarter with the shot selection in the second half. Yeah. I mean, you're getting – Hart gave you a good first five minutes of the game, I thought. Yeah. Um, what happened to his three-point shooting, though? Because he had that stretch after the All-Star break. He was shooting it with confidence. He's passing up layups now. He was doing it in the game against the Spurs. He Ben Simmons a couple layups. Um, you got Dante one of eight from downtown. Deuce one of five. Second game in a row. Deuce can't hit a shot. I want to see Hardenstein really. I I, I want to see Hardenstein end this game with twenty five and twelve, and it is very Chet. Any single time he's got him, he started doing it in the second quarter a good amount. Um, he's just too big for him. Like I want to see Brunson and. Hartenstein, maybe run that two-man game for six straight possessions in the second half. Start the third quarter with that, establish that tone, and then I think the whole offense will get going um, outside of that because, you know, we say the term rock fight game, that's 100% where you're in right now. Slower paced, refs are letting them play a little bit. I think when you go to those actions where you can just spam them over and over again, like the Hartenstein, Brunson pick and roll, like let's start the third quarter there. They're, they're going to need someone to score besides Jalen Brunson. I mean, we're back to that team where we don't have anyone that can score right now outside of him. I mean, outside of Brunson, like, what are they shooting from the floor? Yeah, Brunson's, I mean, Brunson's three of eight. They're 17 of 48, so they're 15 of 40 besides Brunson. Or 14 of 40. 14 of 40. That is... Fucking horrible. 35%. I mean, that's what they're shooting as a team, but still. Just gotta get something. I didn't hate when uh, Burks was on the floor at the same time as Brunson. Like, when he was just truly that corner three threat right there. Because, like, when he comes in with the second unit, they run him a lot of pick and rolls, and he's a primary ball handler, I would kind of like to see Burks. Like, if Deuce is kind of off, maybe you switch up their minutes a little bit and put Burks in the corner tonight. Um, I don't know. Very stagnant on offense. If you guys remember, teams used to run that little 3-2 zone against the Knicks all the time last season. The Thunder kind of went back to it. It was almost like a box and one. Yeah, it it yeah, it almost felt like a two two, and then they had like a guy playing safety. But but they were brought up though, like. You gotta make some shots. Gotta make some shots. Um, 
I mean, they've got 50 points. I thought the Knicks have done good on, done good on defense outside of guarding Jalen Williams. So Jalen Williams went 13 of 17 last time he played the Knicks. So he's 21 of 27 in his last 27 shots versus the Knicks. He's 13 for 17, so he's 20, 27. 20 and 27 is pretty good. He doesn't miss. Doesn't miss versus the Knicks. Tony says, I just called my mom an old head, and she ain't like <laughs> That's hilarious. I would love to see that. That's like a TikTok or something. That's crazy. Thunder are 6 of 18 from downtown, so they're not really shooting the three ball too, too well either. Gosh, giddy. A little 2, 9, and 6. A little Josh Hart stat line. This dude, every single time I watch Isaiah Joe, I don't, you know, I mean, everybody has those players where, like, every single time you watch them, it feels like they don't miss shots. Isaiah Joe is that guy for me. Yeah, he's a good shooter, man. He, he can shoot it. David Deke says, do a boot. Hey, someone sends in a $100 super chat, I'll do a boot. I'll do a boot. This fight in the garden, yeah. Put a pep in the stuff. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. I'm trying, my man. This also is the last show for the Walt Clyde Frazier. Yeah, last last show of the month where we're going to be raffling off this here poster of our guy Walt, Walt Clyde Frazier. Signed photo. If you want to enter the raffle to win, ten dollars super chat. Get in. Every ten dollars you send in today, we'll get you a ticket for the signed Walt Clyde Frazier photo. Today is the last day. We will be spinning the wheel after the game today. After the game today, we will spin the wheel, and that'll be going to somebody. Why do y'all keep saying we have the third seed? If we lose today, we are the fourth seed. Don't understand why you guys are saying that. I, I think you are all misinformed a little bit. At this current moment, yes, you have the lead. If you win, you stay in the lead. If you lose, you fall to the fourth seed. Oh, we got the third. Okay. I got you. Little <laughs> little. Because oh, you're like the seventh person that has said that today. And I'm like, it doesn't matter if the Cavs lost. If we lose, we're the fourth seed. I understand the Cavs lost. No, nah, you're good. I just, I, I, I've seen like ten people in here say, Marsh, we're the third seed. We're third seed. We're third seed. If you win. You lose the other four. Yes, the Cavs did lose. If you lose, you are 44 and 30. They are 45 and 30. They have more wins than you. And if you lose today, you're one game up on the Magic for the fifth seed. And if you lose today, Two wins up on the, the Pacers for the sixth seed. What's up, Christian? He says, will this go over 206 and a half points? Um, maybe. I mean, it's right there, right? It's at 96 right now. Um, I expect for the scoring to be a little bit higher. I mean, you're right there, brother. <laughs> you're right there. I'm not a better. I'm not a better. I don't know. Uh, I would say yes. I would say yes. But they could tighten it up even more on defense in the second half. Scoreboard spider. Why is this guy always in the chat? He loves me. What's up, Mr. Rick? What up, Mr. Rick? Happy Easter, my man. Happy Easter. You get any good, any good eggs in your yard this morning? Any good eggs in the yard this morning, Mr. Rick? Antonio Hines, yep, that's why I was so upset they lost the Spurs. 
Uh, they they could have been locked into that 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 three seed and two seed if they won. You got some peeps. We got some peeps in the office. There are there are peeps from last year, so I don't know if they're still edible. Vic eighty seven says, "What's up with OG?" Same thing. Hurt elbow. <laughs> Hurt elbow, not practicing through contact. He is not playing. Um, crazy. Crazy, crazy. The injuries. You would think they're playing a sport that's more physical than basketball with how injured this freaking team is. Mitchell or Bridges, I'm taking Bridges. I'm taking Bridges. Uh, better defender, longer. Um, I think he's more versatile. I would take Bridges over Donovan Mitchell. Cha says, Yankees hot start, Rangers red hot, Knicks will join the party too. I hope so, brother. I hope so. Our Yankees, I don't know if you are a Yankees fan, but the Yankees do look good. Christian said, will this go over 206 and a half? It's right there, man. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> it's going to come down to making or missing some shots. Oh, my God. Tamar says, OG should have come off the bench. I, I don't think it would have mattered. He's, he's clearly still hurt. Um. Soto stride. That is the coolest part of Juan Soto's game. What? Takes a pitch and then does that like slide. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, it's nasty. KBGBFU says, I have to love, I would have loved to see us at full strength with the way things are going to start lineup for the playoffs. It's starting to feel that way, isn't it? It's starting to feel that way. Only eight games left. Um. I don't see what's going to change over two weeks. Like, in two weeks, is, 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 is someone going to come rub his shoulder with a magic touch and make it good? Is someone going to come clean up OG elbow in two weeks? If I had to say right now, I would say that Randall is probably not coming back. That would be my guess. I don't know about OG. I, I think he has more of a chance. I do. But... Still, I'm not confident in either one. I know at least Randall will play through pain. OG hasn't showed us that yet. Ian Burns, yeah, there is something wrong with their medical staff. There is. They are. What do you mean, do I feel like JB was disrespected? What do you mean by that? They lost. It doesn't matter. I don't know what you mean by that exactly. As we're getting back from halftime here. Getting back underway as the Knicks are down by four. As OKC is going to be playing full press and Cason Wallace is going to be called for a foul. I think they made a starting lineup change in the second half. I don't think Dort is starting. Probably because of the four fouls. I, I didn't see the full court, but I don't remember Cason Wallace starting. They got Wallace, Chet, SGA, Gideon, Jalen Williams in. Yeah, Dort's not going to start the second half as he's got four fouls. Dante DiVincenzo will control up top. He's guarded by J-Dub. He'll get it to Brunson. He'll turn the corner. Brunson kicks to McBride. McBride, corner three. Good! Deuce McBride getting the party started in the second half. Going to need him to make some shots. Needed that. 
Holmgren's going to drive on Hardenstein. Picks his dribble up. And then he just throws it away. Look at DiVincenzo hauling it down. Oh, what a save by Giddy. Right to Williams. Williams drives and kicks to Wallace. And then oh. they call a, foul, a block on Jalen Brunson. Can you get a chance? Go and grab my laptop charger. My shit's about to die. Yeah. My bad. Yeah, that's a block. Jalen Williams will catch the inbound, guarded by Hart. He had his way with Josh Hart in the first half. He'll get to the foul line and kick. Giddy, corner three, no good. Rebound by Hart. Here he goes. Josh will look to push. He'll bring it up, and then he'll reverse and hand it off to Hartenstein up top. Hartenstein's going to hand it off to DiVincenzo. He'll look to get downhill, and he'll throw it out to Brunson. Ten on the shot clock. Brunson guarded by Wallace. Gets into the lane. He falls down. He catches the ball, and he throws it off Holmgren's leg. And he'll go out of bounds, and now Brunson's holding that knee again. It'll be Nick's ball on the baseline. Brunson looking to throw it in. He finds Deuce in the corner. Deuce now guarded by Giddy. Five on the shot clock. He'll drive baseline. Throws it out to Dante. Dante kicks it to Brunson. Corner three. Good. Back-to-back -back threes from the same spot. To start for the Knicks, Deuce with one, Brunson with another, Knicks up by two. SGA guarded by Deuce, gets to the foul line, now he'll retreat, guarded by Hartenstein, look at a drive, he traveled. That's a travel, every day of the fucking week, Knicks ball going that way. He doesn't look right. No, he doesn't. SGA does not look right. He doesn't look as quick as he normally does. Knicks up by two. Every win is important at this point of the season. You only got this game and then eight more to go. Hart. We'll throw it to Hartenstein. Hartenstein up top. Looking to get it to Brunson. He does. He's getting downhill. Brunson dribbles to the lane. Throws it up off the glass and in. What a shot by Jalen Brunson. A little no look spin. And the Knicks are up by four. He's up to 15 points. As that's going to be a three for Cason Wallace. Jesus Christ. Walk right into that one. No defensive pressure there from the Knicks. Brunson will bring it up, gets it to Hart. Hart back to Brunson. Brunson throws it out to Hartenstein. They'll work that two-man game. Hartenstein's going to drive on Holmgren, kicks it out. DiVincenzo open, right wing three. Good! Three threes for the Knicks here to start the half. They're hot. Giddy will bring it up. Dante guarding him. Knicks are three of three from distance. As Williams will now use the screen from Chet, guarded by Josh Hart. He'll rip through, throws up a floater. Good. He's one of the best players in the NBA. He is one of the best players in the NBA. He is so fucking good. 57-55. Brunson throws it to Hart. He'll now retreat the other way and get it back. He's guarded by Wallace. He'll just launch a three. Good! Oh. Knicks are four for four from three. And OKC needs some time to talk about it. Let's go, Knicks! What a way to start the second half. Woo! What do you think about putting Deuce McBride on Jalen Williams? Throw Josh Hart on SGA? Like, yeah, make I mean, him beat you if he's hurt. I mean, clearly Josh Hart's not <laughs> doing anything productive. I would stuff. even like Dante on him over Hart, I think, right now. I mean, Deuce would definitely do a better job of just keeping him in front, no doubt. He'd be giving up the size and length, which would hurt. But, I mean, he's already rising up over Josh Hart, so. Pretty chance there. He's good, man. Like, he's a hell of a player. In the second he's so year. good, man. We are at the first TV timeout of the third quarter. Want to make sure you guys are hooked up with Prize Picks, the, my favorite app I have on my phone. You guys download that and then use code CLNS when you're making your first deposit. We will match it for you guys up to $100. This is the lineup I rolled with tonight. Got more on SGA's points set at 28 and a half. Took less on bogey threes at one and a half made. And then I got more on Josh Hart's six assist. Feeling good about my picks. Gonna need SGA to get it going though. But if you guys wanted to ride with my picks or fade my picks, we just encourage you to do so at prize picks.
must be nice when your second best player is one of the best players in the league on your team. Dude, the thing is, he doesn't – I feel like he needs to get more shots. He's only averaging 19 a game this year on just unreal efficiency. Obviously, SGA gets a lot of that, and Chet gets a lot of that, but – Tony, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, Tony. I'm not sure. Good question, though. What's up, Dan? Paladino. Says, Brunson almost gives me a similar feeling of Harden leaving OKC and becoming a superstar. Very similar. Yeah. Very similar. Lorenzo says, I got Brunson under 28 and a half. That's in jeopardy, my friend. Brunson had a 21, I think it was a 21 point third quarter against the Spurs. Already got eight here tonight. Weird. Jalen Brunson's not mentioned in the MVP race, but he's fourth in the league in points per game. Not sure how that happens. It would be really cool if his two guard was Jalen Williams. Here we go. Back to hoops. Jalen Williams will bring it up. Josh Hart still on him. He'll play a two-man game with Holmgren. He'll just get to the foul line. Then he throws it up to a rolling Holmgren. He stepped out of bounds. They didn't call it. They're going to call a foul on Hartenstein. And DiVincenzo will bark at the refs. What's up, Dan? Happy holidays to you if you do celebrate. Good to see you in the chat. Exactly, Antonio. Exactly. Any other player in the league that had the fourth leading score and their team was top half of the conference and they had two all-stars damn near hurt the whole year, they'd be in the all in the all MVP discussion. As Holmgren drives and kicks to door three, no good. Rebound by the Knicks. Brunson looking to play with some pace. He'll bring it up in and out dribble. He freezes Dort. Now he's got him on the top of the king. He has him on a string. He's doubled. Kicks to Deuce. Deuce will try. And he'll oh. knock it in from deep. Five for five from deep for the Knicks. To start the third. Holmgren drives. Oh, wow. He turned it over. Here come the Knicks. It's a five on three break. Chenzo to Brunson. Brunson for three. Oh, oh that one was halfway God. down. A little bit of a heat check there. It would have been six made threes to start the third. As Giddy drives, Jalen Williams just beats Brunson back door. So he can't have that. Because that's just an easy. You miss a three on the other end. Give up the five point swing. Can't take a hero ball shot and then not play defense on the other end. Six-point game, eight minutes to go. Brunson throws it to Hartenstein on the top of the key. Ten on the shot clock. Hartenstein still has it moved. Now hand it off to Deuce. Deuce will try another. He'll miss it this time. Hartenstein with the board to Hart. Hart, nice oh. slay. Oh, what a play by Hart. He looked like he was going up with it. SGA bit. He laughed and then laid it up and in. Nick's up by eight. Knicks have 17 ch second chance points. Holmgren, three. No good. Ball's loose. Recovered by Giddy, and he'll lay it up and in. Can't allow this smaller team to beat you on the glass, man. It's back to six with 7.15 to go. Even Chenzo will handle. He's guarded by Dort. They're trying to hide Dort because he's got four fouls. Brunson now being guarded by Jalen Williams. He'll drive to the left. Williams being very handsy. He'll beat him to the paint. He'll pull up from 10. In and out. Rebound by Hardenstein. He's fouled. And one. Underneath English. Isaiah Hardenstein and one. Come on, man. They can't handle him down there, man. That's how they're the smaller team basketball life. Yeah, they may be taller, but Hardenstein's got 40 pounds on Chet. Josh Hart is more physical than anybody else on their team. The Knicks are the more physical team. Check the rebounding stats. They should not be getting out-rebounded by the Thunder. You want to talk about more longer creative players? Sure. You're talking about toughness, the Knicks are a much tougher and more physical and rough and rugged team. That's why they're beating them in second chance points by nine right now. SGA will have it on the right wing. Guarded by Deuce. Gets a screen from Williams. He'll walk his way into the paint. He'll take a tough fall away shot and get it to go.
seven-point game after the SGA bucket. Brunson working on the right wing, guarded by Jalen Williams. Look at his screen from Hardenstein. Nice skip pass to him. Hardenstein underneath to Harden. He lays it up and in. Love the playmaking that Hardenstein is showing right now. Five assists. Giddy will walk it up. He throws it inside to SGA. His layup no good, but he gets a foul. Great pass by Hardenstein to Josh Hart, who's roaming that baseline. Knicks up nine with 6.13 to go. As my guy Kevin Bellotti coming in with a $20 super chat. What's up, Kevin? Thanks for supporting the channel, man, as SGA's first free throw is good. He says we need to keep iHeart this offseason. They're going to try. They can only pay him so much money. I'm sure if I'm another team and I need a center, I'm giving him a lot of money. Um, it's going to come down to if he wants to stay a member of the Knicks. I think that's literally what it will come down to. SGA knocks in both. Kevin, thanks for supporting the show. I agree. He's too good of a player to let him walk for nothing. He makes both free throws there. It's a seven-point game. Brunson hands it off to Chenzo. Chenzo back to Brunson. Operating in that left corner. Guarded by Dort. He's already got four fouls. Get downhill, JB. He does. Spins. Leaves him in the dust. And he kisses it off the glass. Jalen Brunson heating up in the third. Brunson's already up to 20. Giddy will walk it up. He'll now play through SGA. He'll drive on Achua. Achua, too slow there. SGA blows right by him and kisses it off the glass. Back to seven with 540 to go. Hart will handle. Guarded by Hayward. Kicks it to Deuce. Deuce to Devo. Devo guarded by Giddy. He'll swing it back to the right side. Hart and a little pick and roll with Achua. Hart out to Dante. Dante catching fire. Good! Dante DiVincenzo! The big ragu! Knicks up 10, timeout OKC. <laughs> Woo! I think that might be like seven of eight from downtown this quarter. Red hot. Came out shooting. See Devo get it back going. Two for two this half from downtown. Come on, man. Quit playing. That's what I'm talking about. Three Vincenzo. Yeah, <laughs> Max Payne Media, King Ja, Castro in the building. Jimmy from Seattle said, boys had something to prove. Come on, hunting those threes. Come on, man. This is a winnable game right now. Let's go. What up, CPJ? Says, keep going at Dort. Dort's defending like he can't foul. I'm going at him. Yeah. He's got four already. If you get Dort to be out for the final five minutes of this game, that's going to pay huge. Pay off in a huge way. The Wooster. What up, Creed? Only the Knicks lose to the Spurs and then we'll go. Yeah, exactly. What's up, Will? What's up, Will? John Musgrove. Knicks pride. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. TV says that's how you start a quarter. Now we got to finish the quarter. Agreed. Agreed. They didn't need that loss versus the Spurs, dog. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Oh, we I ain't doing that. that was Jimmy that was saying that. We ain't, we ain't doing that today. They ain't need that shit. They needed that win to be the fucking two seed. Anonymous says, why are you moving so much? Why are you on my nuts so much? Jeez, Anonymous. Hop off. Oh, no. Jesus Christ. Two games back from the two seed if you win. And you got a game next Sunday against the Bucks. It would be really cool if that game determined who was in second place. That would be. They, the Bucks do go next three games are Wizards, Grizzlies, Raptors. That's right. First game. But they do end the season Boston, Magic, Thunder, Magic. What's up, Tricky Nicky? Who was, why am I moving around so much? What do you want me to do? Stand up here like a statue? One, I'm not sitting down. Active legs. He's, what do you want me to do? Brunson, dribble drive, <laughs> three, good. Lou Dort, foul. SGA, basket. Is that what you want? <laughs> Serrano, these people be coming at my neck, dog. I'm firing back at them. Cash out James laughing. 
He ain't said nothing since. Gray hand. <laughs> Rewrote. Nick's up by 10, 5.25 to go. Subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Here we go. Back to hoops. Knicks will come out on defense. Jalen Williams layup. And they're going to call another block on Brunson. That looked like a charge. And he's once again down and appears to be in some pain. Oh, gee. Coming over the super chat. As, I don't know if they're challenging this, but, I mean, if that ain't a block, I don't know. If that ain't a charge, I don't really know what the rule is. Then he got knee in the head two times. I'm not going to call it. And Williams will go to the line. They'll cash in the first. OG! Oh, oh, What's geez. up, OG? Marsh, I don't know if you saw my message at the end of the Spurs game, but I told you that as the second free throw is no good, give me some BDLs in the chat, ball don't lie. I told you that the remaining teams on our schedule have to deal with us. I saw that. They got to deal with us. We're the big dog. Be the big dog. Playing like a big dog right now. Shout out to my brother, OG. Happy holidays, brother, if you do celebrate. McBride drives, drops it off to Achua. Achua out to Brunson. Brunson guarded by SGA. He'll rise. No good. Rebound by OKC as we're under five minutes to go. SGA will bring it up. Good job by Brunson to press up on that screen to let McBride recover. He'll now guard him again. He gets screened this time by Williams. Gets into the paint, looking to draw a foul, kick it out. Hayward, right corner three, good. Good. Six-point game. Take off on these fools. Brunson off the screen, hesitate, gets in the lane, kicks it to Hart, and Josh dropped it. Come on, man. It was just 10. It was just 10. Thunder back in that zone the last two possessions. Don't just give it to them. Make them take it. Can't just give them these games. SGA uses the screen, kicks it. Isaiah Joe, he'll pump fake and kick. And now Jalen Williams will drive from the baseline. He'll throw it back out. Ball deflected by Deuce. Achua pokes it away. He'll go coast to coast. And he lays it up and in. <laughs> Defense turning into offense. Knicks back up by eight with 3.50 to go. SGA guarded by Deuce, crossover, good help by Dante, out to Isaiah Joe, he'll try to drive, and the ball is deflected by Hart, Knicks are out, run it again, it's a three on two, Hart will go all the way, and he'll get the foul, he'll get the foul, Hart going to the line for a pair, and he looks up and says, Wah! come on, hungry dogs run faster, you should be the hungry dog in this fight. as I think they called this on Dort. If they did, that would be Cinco. They did, and they're going to challenge it. They're going to challenge it. Probably the right call here. For they're going to challenge it. I'm going to be honest, I don't think it was a foul. I especially, And it's not on Dort. <laughs> it's not? It, it, if there is a foul, there's no way it's on Dort. I mean, he literally ran down. Like. I don't know if that's a foul. They may win this challenge. Cash out, James. <laughs> hey, Marshall. <laughs> Seeps did it better. Cash out, love that. The emoji that goes with it is the best. K KBGBF says, Marsh, I'm screaming to the top of my lungs in my daughter's hospital room. About to get kicked out. I'm so excited. <laughs> Let's go, Nick, baby. <laughs> Shout out to you, Micah. Or Michael. Happy Easter. Yeah, I don't think. Dan, what's up, Dan? Yeah, if anything, it's on SGA. See, he's got his. That's a foul on SGA. Can they switch it? I... That's a good question. He, like... Green just said the officials can change it. Okay. So the foul will stand. It will just go from Dort to SGA. So Dort will remain with four fouls. 
Let's go. As Lisa. What's up, Lisa? Thanks for supporting the channel. Let's go, Knicks. Hey, Marshall. Put the raffle in AJ McMecca's name. Done. 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 Thank you for the support. Robert says, happy Easter to everyone in the chat. Let's go, Knicks. Being you're from Dallas, I'm surprised you're not a Dallas fan. Well, oh. Robert, uh, I was born on Long Island, raised in Houston, Texas, and I just work in Dallas. I'm not from here. This is just where they pay me to live at to talk about the Knicks. I am not a Dallas fan, but I can understand that. Josh Hart at the line here. Seeps could make it a 10-point game with 3.30 to go. I close this quarter. Played a great third, finish it. Josh Hart knocks in the first. But, Marshall, you work in Dallas, so I know you love the Mavs. <laughs> well, Marshall, how could you be a Knicks fan not in New York City? <laughs> Marshall, you host the Giants show and live in Dallas. Who's going to be our backup power? <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to do without Obi Toppin? The only one the Butt Marshall voices were right about was the Pistons trade. You guys got us there. 79-69 here. SGA is going to post up on Deuce. He'll face him up. Dante with a good double team. Forced him to pick it up. And then Deuce poked it away. Knicks are out running again. It's Brunson to Hart. Hart to Devo. And then they'll slow it down. Get back into your offense. Plenty of time here. Ten on the, 15 on the shot clock. Jalen Brunson up top, guarded by Dort. Going to get a screen here from Hart. They double him. Nice skip pass inside. Hart, back door to Deuce. Deuce up and in. Nick's up by 12. AJ says give a shout out to Lisa. Lisa, shout out to you. Thank you for supporting this channel, and thank you for being a real one. Shout the As that's going to be a foul on Josh Hart. <laughs> His Deuce does so much. Craziest thing, man. He's flirting with a triple-double again. Nine boards, five assists, 12 points. I agree. That should have that should have costed the Thunder a, a, a timeout, Seeps. There was still a foul called. I understand they changed who the foul was on, but a foul happened. They didn't win the challenge. Unless it's like, you see, like I'm challenging who it was on. I don't like that. As I believe Dort just missed the free throw. Yeah, he did. He did. Because you know why? Ball don't lie. Give me some BDLs in the chat. Piston boys are heading into the game right now. <laughs> Except for Bogey. Bogey's not. When Brunson comes out and the Piston boys go in. As he missed both. Ball don't lie, baby. Uh, that BDL was from Miami. McBride will bring it up. It's McBride, Hart, Chenzo, Chenzo, three, in and out. Achua with the board. He'll secure it, and the Knicks will get another look at it. He crosses over on Hayward. He's fouled. He'll go to the line for two. Good move by Achua. Brunson heading back to the locker room. Hopefully, he just had to pee. Precious at the line, and he smoked it. And he smoked it. Look at Tibbs laughing. <laughs> Look at Tibbs. He's in a great mood. It's Easter. Green's laughing. KB about says they're trying to escort me out of the hospital, but I ain't going. Love that. Let's go, Knicks. Achua missed the first, missed the second. Come on, big sneeze. 2.15 to go. Nick's up by 12. SGA remains in the game for OKC. He'll be guarded by Deuce McBride. He'll drive and then drop it off to Chet. Chet for three, no good. It did not hit the shot. Rebound, shot clock. It did not hit the rim. Shot clock will not reset. But Jalen Williams gets an open three and he missed it. Rebound by Precious. Alec Burks, he'll kick it to Hart. Hart to McBride. McBride guarded by SGA, throws it to Achua. Achua's going to hand it off to Dante. 
Dante's going to drive it, and he throws it off Chet's foot. Turnover. And now Gordon Hayward's out and running, and he'll throw it down. Close this quarter. You're up 12 with two minutes left. It's the turnovers that are starting to mount. You're up 10. 90 seconds to go. Just don't turn it over, and you're all right. Even Chenzo's going to drive and kick to Hart. He'll swing to Deuce. Deuce from the corner. No good. Ball's loose. A two with battling. And it'll be recovered by OKC with 118 to go. Jalen Williams will bring it up. He'll drive right by McBride. He pushed off. And he oh throws it down. Oh, my God. Jalen Williams went coast to coast and threw it down. He looked like fucking Kobe Bryant right there. That looked like Kobe Bryant. Holy cow. Jalen Williams gave Deuce a bump and put him and Dante in the basket. Is that not a foul? Tic tac, but oh my god, that's a push off, man. I mean, Deuce kind of, kind of clamped on him. Still extended though. Nick's not closing this quarter in the way they need to. Deuce got loose right there, Max Payne. Yeah, I thought he pushed off. Maybe if he kept it more in and at the waist, but dude, that was up by the shoulder. Here we go. Here we go. Let's close out this fourth. Let's go. Close out the fourth. Over a thousand people watching. If you love the Knicks, give me an LGK in the chat. One minute to go, and a chew is going to be fouled by Chet, and they're just going to send a chew to the line. A little gamesmanship right here. Come on, Precious. Come on, Big Sneeze. What are they saying about you, Precious? Hackachua. Ha Hackachua here. Hackachua. Come on, Precious. Make him look stupid. Makes there the first. Go. Makes the first. Oh, Hackashack here on Hackachua. I mean, 62% from the line. It's not like he's just horrid. He missed the first two. He makes this one, and he makes both. Suck it, OKC. Appreciate the free two. Mix up by 10. One minute to go. Deuce McBride guarding SGA. I'll have him on the left side. SGA dancing, prancing, gets in the lane, kicks it out. Holmgren from the corner, blocked! And then it goes back off. That's going to be a charge! What? And they called a block and one for Holmgren over Deuce. Oh, come on. Tibbs, you might got to challenge that. That's not, a, uh, that's not a foul. If anything, that's a no call. Yeah, that... If I mean, anything, that is a no call. Tips, hit that button, brother. At 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 most, that's a no call. Yeah. I'm not saying that's a charge. That's damn sure not a freaking block. Let's see. Let's see. He was moving because like his feet was kind of in air still. And the Knicks are going to challenge. This could. This it's could a be huge a call. This like again, not fucking closing the quarter. The refs just don't want to. Oh, that's tight. He. It's definitely not a foul, though. Tibbs and the ref are just laughing each other up, so. Throw them aside. OKC is the darling of the NBA. Small market team. They just get every call. They get every ping pong ball in the lottery. Chet isn't anywhere close to Wemby, thank you. He ain't even close to Wemby. Bro, that's, that is that that is not a foul. No, that's not a foul. Could they just call this a no call and then, like, fuck it's good? Be 
We got Davies in the chat. Wellington Davies? What's up, Davies. man? Davies. We got 1,100 people watching, only 368 likes. Can you hit that thumbs up icon for me? And if you have liked the video, type me down below. I want to know who the real ones are. With 1,100 watching, we should be at 550 likes. 50%. 50% should have liked the video. If you want the Knicks to win, like the video right now. Come if on. you have liked the video, type me. Let's go. Shout out to 4K, Ruben, EC, AJ, Time and the Buckeye, 4K, Bank, Robert. All right, let's go. I think they won it and they called it an offensive foul. Yeah. So Tibbs wins the challenge. Bucket, no good. Knicks ball going that way. Go. It is a successful challenge. And it's Knicks ball going that way. Knicks keep the timeout. They got another challenge in their back pocket. And now we're cooking with grease. Let's close the fourth quarter. As Mark Austin coming in says, keep up the good work. You be having me hype at work with the play-by-play. -play. Mark, I appreciate that, man. I'm just trying to bring some energy. I'm just trying, man. It's hard. It's hard. I'll but I'm you trying. A raffle ticket, Mark. Also, shout out to Mark. Sending a $10 super chat. That means he enters the raffle to win the signed Walt Clyde Frazier photo. As the score has been changed, it is now 83-73. Nick's up by 10. 50 seconds to go. I would hold and kill this shot clock here. I would not give them the ball back for a two-for-one opportunity. And I'm getting a bucket right here. As Alec Burke is going to go quick. And he'll just lay it up. And then he doesn't listen, but he gets it to go. Alec Burks kicks it off the glass. And the Knicks don't get back in transition. As Hayward missed the dunk. Hayward missed the dunk. And then he got it back. Achua and Hartenstein. Achua and DiVincenzo battled for it. And now there's a shot clock malfunction. Tough game for the Zebras. You have to get that ball. Knicks will defend. Ten seconds on the shot clock. SGA going to drive on McBride. Gets to the lane. Lay up high off the glass and in. Shot clock is turned off. Knicks by ten. Twenty seconds to go. Come on. How about a bucket here to go up twelve? They're going to double deuce. Give it to Josh. He does. Go, Josh. And on the shot clock. Josh Hart hands it off to Burks. Burks drives middle. He'll step back. He'll try a three. In and out. Alvin Burks had a three. Go in and out. As the Knicks will go to the fourth quarter. Up by ten. Give me some fours in the chat. Give me some fours in the chat. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's fourth quarter time. Shout out to Castro, Ruben Serrano, John Musgrove, Eric Wright, Serios Gamer, Oh Kill him, Nick, Front, John, Eminis, Castro, Louis, Bank, Ernest, Rich Rob, what up? The double off. Nick's Galaxy, Shaq, Henry, the Bronx Boy, you mata effa. Happy holidays, my man. Omar Wright, Terrence Myers, yeah. what up 4K, what up Greg Williams, what up Gary Saunders, John Thotty, hey yo John Thotty, I love that name, John Thotty, that's like a movie character name, yeah. yo like I was going stick. down to the bodega, me and John Thotty, John Thotty, yo John Thotty, hey yo John Thotty, tell the parents I said hello, John Thotty, hey yo Rich Rob, hey yo Rich Rob, yeah. happy holidays, <laughs> How's the sun? How's Flea doing? Let's go. <laughs> KBGB says, Marsh, do I have cash app? I do, brother man. I do have the app of the cash. Um, I believe my cash app name is Marsh G10. I'll put it in the chat for you. Hey, yo, John Thotty. I just popped it in the chat for you. Flea is fly. He, look, he good like God. With an extra O. Oh. Okay, <laughs> bars. Okay, bars. Rich, that ain't yours. You stole that from somebody. That's Kanye. <laughs> That's. I wish I had somebody. He said that in a song. He's, 
Ayo John Tari. Shout out to Mark Austin, Troy Palmer, the Bronx boy. Troy Palmer's rolling with OKC. That's messed up, Troy. That's messed up, dog. Don't it don't make it. I may have not said it first, but that don't mean it ain't a fact. MS8 says I made an edit with your voice on TikTok. That scares me. I'm scared what that could be. Hope. Is it a little Jalen Brunson edit? Uh, send it to me on Twitter at Marshall Green underscore or on Instagram at Marshall Green underscore. I'd love to see what that says. The Knicks put up 39 points that quarter, outscored the Thunder by 14. Thunder going to get the ball to start the quarter. Let's close this puppy out. Shout out to my guy, Mr. Singleton, coming in with a $10 cash app. You are in now the raffle. Seeps will add you to the raffle for the Walt Clyde Frazier photo. Mr. Singleton, that's mad love. Fourth quarter underway, and Jalen Williams wastes no time. He gets to his spot and rises up. It's an eight-point game. It's now an eight-point game. Shout out to Mr. Singleton. Here we go. Eight-point game. It's Burks. It's Achua. It's Hart, and it's McBride. Burks at the foul line. Hands it off to Hart. Now Hart to McBride. McBride to Achua. Top of the key. Achua to Burks. A little two-man game. Burks spins into the lane. Has some space. Floater up. No good. Achua with the board. He'll go up with it and has his shot blocked. How long do you go with no Brunson? He didn't play with the last two and a half minutes as Case and Wallace for three. Josh good. Harp. You start You start the quarter up ten, and now it's five. You don't come out ready to play. Don't come out ready to play. You get punched in the mouth right away. KB, you the man, bro. Thank you. Thank you. As McBride turns it over. Get Brunson in the game. You start the quarter up ten, and now it's a three-point game. We've been playing ball for a minute and 12 seconds. Also, just like the, I mean, the Knicks transition defense over the last two games has been terrible. Just giving up easy buckets. Right now, I mean, everything you just worked for in that third quarter, gone in the first a minute and 15 seconds. I have to get Brunson in ASAP. But while we are at the first TV timeout of the fourth quarter, want to tell you guys about prize picks. You guys head to prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use promo code CLNS. We'll match your first deposit up to $100. This is the lineup I was rolling with tonight. Took the more on SGA, 28 and a half points. He's at currently 15. I took Bogey, the less than one and a half threes. He actually hasn't played in the second half, and he hasn't hit one. So that should be good. And then I took more on Josh Hart, six assists. He's at five right now. So whether you guys wanted to fade my picks, ride with my picks, download the Prize Picks app. Use code CLNS when you're making your first deposit. We'll match it. Second game in a row, the Knicks came out in the fourth quarter and choked away a, 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 a doable game. Against the Spurs, it was a one-point game. And then by the nine-minute mark, you were down by 11. You start the fourth quarter today up by 10. We haven't even played hoops for a minute and a half in the fourth, and it's a three-point game. What if it was opposite? What if the Knicks came out and beat the Thunder by seven points to start this quarter? Game's and you got it up over. to 17. Game's They're over. They're done. They like, roll over, and you boop, boop, boop. SGA Game's Brooklyn over. Doesn't come back in. Get your team ready to play, Tom Thibodeau. How about a set to start the half quarter instead of an Alec Burks crazy floater? So, so it says the Knicks only have seven turnovers in this game. It, it, it feels like a lot more. The game moment out. is right in front of you. Go grab it! Bronx boy, yes it is. Raffle will be after the game. The game is right there for the taking! Troy Palmer, yeah, well, I'll believe it when I see it, brother. Bogey's not even in right now, cash out. We have 1,100 people watching. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. We're 190 subs away from 37,000. Think JB is hurt? I hope not. Jalen Brunson's hurt, and it's curtains. I hope he ain't he, hurt. Last time we did see him was in the locker room. I mean, next game's in Miami on Tuesday. You got to go get this. 
As it's Brunson, as it's DiVincenzo, McBride, Hartenstein, and Precious. First possession. DiVincenzo knocks it in. He's ready to play. Let's go. Knicks back up by six. Huge. And then on defense, they allow an open three for Giddy. Good. No matter if you can't get stops. Go be the big dog this quarter. McBride will bring it up. Gets a screen from Hartenstein. He'll swing it around to Dante. OKC back in this kind of zone. Dante skip pass to Hartenstein. Hartenstein to Precious. Precious there. throws it. Oh, they called an offensive foul. Offensive foul on Hartenstein. The Knicks have been getting fucked on block charge calls all game long. But you know what? The NBA darlings, the OKC small market team. I mean, he's moving. He's moving. His left foot is dragging that entire time. He was not set before Hardenstein. Okay, see. Three-point game. Knicks choked away a 10-point oh fourth-quarter lead, and Kenrich Williams will tie it up. Gemnium played minute ball for two and a half minutes, and you blew a 10-point lead in the fourth. It's also Josh Hart can't keep nobody in front of him right now. As Bogdanovich has checked into the game. Nick's moving around. Dante will drive middle. His floater up. No good. He got fouled. He'll go to the line for two. Move Jalen Williams put on Josh Hart was filthy. MSH, are you talking about on Twitter or IG, brother? Twitter or IG? As Dante's at the line for two, first one is good. I don't know if Brunson's hurt, but he's not in. Knocks As he knocks out. in both. I don't have a message request from you, dog. On IG. At least it's not telling me I am. As Giddy has it up top, he'll drive on Deuce. Euro into the lane, floater up and in. Shout out to Justin for the $10 super chat. We'll pop that up in a second. As McBride, he'll handle. Kicking it around to Hart. Hart has it on the right wing. Back to Deuce. Deuce, pump fake. Now he'll step back. Throws it inside to I Hart. And he'll go up with it. Fouled! That is that not a flagrant? He just... Gouged him in the eye. That was forcible contact north of the neck. That should be a flagrant. Not a basketball play. Forcible contact north of the shoulders. I don't... That's a flagrant. That's a flagrant. Oh, come on. That's a flagrant. That might be a flagrant, too. That might be a flagrant, too. You cannot grab somebody's face and foul them like that. Yeah, that's not and he right. smacked him in the back of the head. Eject his ass. Should be quick. There's John Dotty. The surprise they didn't call that a Jalen blocking foul. From Exactly, exactly. Also, Justin, got your name in the raffle. Our software is just taking a little bit to get it up on screen. But shout out to you, first time Super Chatter. Shout out to Justin, first time Super Chatter, my man. I mean, this should be. That should be. I don't know if it's a flagrant, too. It's definitely a flagrant. It's, yeah, probably just a flagrant. What are we looking at here? Ripped his head off. Dude, it's every fucking fourth quarter. This shit just starts bugging out. Just want to say next TV time I'll just close out of it real quick. Yeah. 90 to 90, nine minutes to go in the fourth. They are reviewing a foul called on OKC. No matter what is called, Hartenstein's going live for two. They are trying to see if it is a flagrant foul of some sort. That was banked. I mean, that looked like Golan beer back in the day.
It is a flagrant foul. It will be called a flagrant foul. So Hardenstein will go to the line for two here, and the Knicks will keep the ball? Yeah. Big. Knicks will keep the ball. Danny McGrath in the chat. What's up, D. Murda? D. Murda. I don't see any update on Brunson either. Here we go. Here we go. Two shots coming up for iHeart. As the first one is good. 91-90. 91-90. As the second free throw is no good. I saw that, Bill. I saw that. Have they, I don't think they've found him either. But I don't want to speak too much on it. I was stuck in that traffic yesterday, Bill. Funny enough. Still no sign of Brunson with nine minutes to go. He's on the bench. As McBride will drive baseline, he'll throw it up. No good. Horrible shot. Here we go. Jalen Williams will bring it up. He'll find Giddy. Giddy's going to drive. He'll lose it. Saved by DiVincenzo, and they call it a foul. Giddy will go to the line for two. Why did the Knicks not keep the ball after the flagrant? No, they did. That's when Dukes threw up that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No good on the free throw from Josh Giddy. You got it here, Justin. Shout out to Give you. Give me some BDLs in the chat. As Justin, because I'm trying to win that Frazier autograph. Reminder. Today's the last day to get in on the Walt Clyde Frazier autograph photo. A $10 super chat will do it as the Knicks. He just missed both free throws. Josh Hart got the rebound. Then had it poked away and Jalen Williams scores. They're up by one. Josh Hart, man. At some point, you have to stop being an idiot. At some point. DiVincenzo drives to Hardenstein. And he throws it down! Knicks back up by one. Danny says, Marshall, I made a mistake. Chat Sports was feed to me. I don't know what that means. Chat Sports was feed to you. I don't know what that means. As J-Dub will throw it into Jalen Williams. Williams operating on that left wing. Guarded by Hartenstein. Kicks it to Williams on the other end. A little pick and roll. Williams gets to the foul line. Throws it out. That'll be a three. No good. Rebound by Hartenstein. Josh Hart will bring it up. He'll hand it off to Dante for three. No good. Rebound by OKC. As Giddy will bring it up, he bumps Bogdanovich and it'll go out of bounds. It'll go out of bounds. As As Asia, Asia. Asia coming in with a $10 super chat. What up, Asia? Welcome into the raffle. Says, hey, Marshall. And Seep just got home from work and I'm exhausted. What's keeping me hyped right now is how about our Yankees soda was a beast. Hope to see you at City Field this year. He looks good. As Jalen Brunson checking back in the game. As the OKC back up by one. Devo just got turned around. I got you, Danny. I got you. Dante will throw it to Brunson. Brunson's going to get downhill. And he's blocked. Turnover by Brunson. Here comes OKC. Williams will go all the way. He smoked a layup. And they called a foul? How was that a foul? I don't think anybody touched No one him. touched him. He just missed the layup. How many fucking times is OKC going to get a call? See, Jalen Williams wants them to review this for a flagrant. As he got pushed in the... He didn't get touched! Where did he get touched? They are going to review this for a flagrant. Where was he touched? He just lost his footing and smoked the layup. Unless it was on the hand, we couldn't see from that angle. Bro, he's not touched! Hartenstein put his hand on his back, but he took two more steps. 
That is not a foul. For that. Where's the foul? It shouldn't take long, guys. Where's the foul? He was out of control. He was out of control. And he missed an open layup. Bro, there is no foul there. If that is a foul, the way Jalen Brunson is officiating is bullshit. It needs to change. Reviewing it for a flagrant is crazy. There's no foul to begin with. There is no wind-up. There is no impact. There is no follow-through. Just say it. There's no contact. And now you look dumb because we all got four replays and we see it's no foul. There was no foul whatsoever. I can't believe that that was reviewed for a flagrant. What happened to the NBA that I love? You look at somebody cross-eyed, you might get ejected. Hartenstein just got his fucking face ripped off and he barely got a flagrant. That's why Jalen missed it. Ball don't lie. Nine for 19. Holy fuck, man. We're already down, OG. Randall and Robinson. The Thunder are one of the best teams in the league. You don't have to help them, NBA. On top of that, they called that a blocking foul. And he... This league's a fucking joke sometimes, man. Nick's down by two. Seven minutes to go. Brunson throws it inside the Hartenstein. He's fouled. They don't call it. Hart with the board. Out to Dante. He'll drive. Drops it off to Hart. And he doesn't go up with it. Throws it back out to Brunson. Brunson's foul. They don't call it. And he makes it. Call the foul! Jesus Christ! Call it fair! Damn, man! Williams up top. Guarded by Hart. Drives to his left. Kicks it out. Williams now will hand it off to Giddy. Giddy's going to spin into the lane. Lay up. Good. Josh Giddy with a triple double now. Six twenty to go. Nick's moving around. Starters back in. Runson up top. He'll take a deep three. No good. That was a horrible fucking shot. And then it's you don't get back. Come on, man. It's a horrible shot, Jalen Brunson. Williams guarded by Deuce. Force him to give it up. Giddy's going to drive on DiVincenzo. He'll spin again and I mean, lay up good. Dante I mean, can't, can't guard him. him. Josh Giddy is outplaying everybody on the Knicks. They're not even using SGA and they're beating you. He's played this four. Josh Hart has it on the right wing. He'll drive, gets all the way, and he, well, he lost it. He's going to go out of bounds off OKC. Knicks have scored 10 points this quarter, 24 for OKC. You are being outscored by 14 in the fourth quarter. And now OKC is going to challenge it, and Josh Hart's going to get another turnover. That's off Josh Hart's hands. That'll be OKC ball. Brian Fitzgerald coming in with a $10 super chat. What up, Brian? Just keep it positive, boys. Got the VPN working. Let's go, Knicks. DM salute. The VPN is crazy work. Crazy work. That's going to be off Josh Hart. That'll be okay. Peace ball.
I'm with you, John. It, it, the, the NBA refs are ruining the game. Yeah, I don't know. John, Johnson, you, they can't stop Josh Giddy. They can't stop Josh Giddy. Still at a teamy timeout here. Oh, absolutely, CPJ. They're not refing the game the same, same way on both ends. But it comes back to the way you came out in the fourth quarter. That's why you're gonna. That's why if you lose this game, you will lose because you started the fourth quarter up ten. Um, you haven't. You've scored ten points in the fourth quarter. They've scored twenty-four. Um, what's up, Stephen Blinas? So now you got SGA most likely coming back into this game. Yep, Josh Hart, another turnover. He's been horrible today. He's been horrible. Also, I think this is the fourth challenge that has been, um, like, obviously overturned. That just shows how bad the refs have been tonight. Man, Josh Hart really hurt in the Knicks today. Can't guard anybody, and I don't care if he has 12 points, 12 rebounds, 6 assists. He's got four turnovers. Four turnovers, and he hasn't made a shot from three. And he has been cooked every time he's guarding someone. Especially Jan Williams. He's been killing him. Knicks down by four. Five and a half to go. They were up one point, ten points in the fourth quarter. They've been outscored 24 to 10. They have no answer for OKC's like, defense. And then Hart Josh Hart doing? called for another foul. Running right into him. Oh! D murder the turn it around. Come on, D murder. Come on, man. Shout out to Danny McGrath, a legend here on the channel. As another foul on Josh Hart. Another foul on Josh Hart. Move your feet. He's having one of the worst fourth quarters ever. So it's four on DiVincenzo, four on Hart now. D Murder, my man, we appreciate you, brother. Thank you for always supporting this channel. Hope we get some good vibes rolling. It's Josh Giddy, wide open three. Good. It's over. That might do it. It's over. You're getting beat by 17 in the fourth quarter right now. That's fucking embarrassing. No grit, no toughness, and they're nope. down their MVP. <laughs> Brunson inside to Hartenstein. Hartenstein layup no good. Going to be a foul on Dort. That'll be his fifth of the game. Knicks are being outscored 27 to 10. Jamin Brunson's going to have to assert himself in this fourth quarter eventually. Zone's clearly given them the Knicks issues, but... Oh, man. SG hasn't even played. He hasn't, he hasn't even played in the fourth quarter. And you're losing 27 to and more missed free throws for the Knicks. 27 to 11, and their best player hasn't even played. But Josh Hart going to try to guard Jalen Williams here. He struggled all night long. Williams has walked him like a dog, and he allows him to get an easy assist there. I mean... Josh Hart is killing this team. She got a reputation as a defender. My God, man. Josh Hart, he must be tired. He must be tired. They're 12 of 13 from the floor this quarter. Knicks didn't show up in the fourth when it mattered most. You're up 10 just to blow it. 
Brunson gets into the lane. Layup up. Good. You're going to need Jalen Brunson to be incredible. Come on, man. Someone's going to have to do something besides Jalen Brunson. And that's a turnover. Nick's going to steal. Down by six. Brunson will push. He'll drop it off to Chenzo. Chenzo out to Deuce for three. No good, but he's fouled. No good, but he's fouled. Deuce will go to the line. Great pass out by DiVincenzo right there. I don't know how he how, got That's that a flagrant. Move. That's a flagrant. He goes into his landing spot. He jumps forward to close out, but that only gets called on the Knicks. Only called on the Knicks. The dude is closing out and hits Deuce. That should be a flagrant. Do set the line. He knocks in the first. Need all three. Need all three of these. I mean, you're still going to be right in this ball game. Second free throw. Good. Four-point game. CPJ, that is the definition of a reckless closeout. Chance to cut it to three here if Deuce can knock in one more. All three are good from Deuce. Down by three. Four minutes to go. As SGA is checked back in. Wow. He'll look to close the deal. He'll post up Deuce. His shot no good. Rebound by Josh Hart. Great rebound by Dim. Great D by Deuce. As Dante kicks it out. Brunson three. No good. As Williams battles for the board. Another fucking three. And it goes off Josh Hart. Oh, no, he stepped out. Out of bounds off Williams. Out of bounds off Williams. Next ball. They've already used both their challenges. It'll be Nick's ball underneath, throwing from the baseline. 14 seconds on the shot clock. I'm on. We haven't won one of these close games in a while. Let's go do it. Brunson off the screen turnover. Josh Hart got it back to Genzo. Now Brunson in the corner. Five seconds to shoot. Here comes a double. He'll look. He'll cook. He'll drive. He's fouled. Oh, he can't get it to go. He'll go to the line for a pair. He'll go to the line for a pair. Brunson has been so careless in these fourth quarters sometimes with the basketball. But that move was nasty. Smacked him on the head. How come that's not a flagrant review? He actually got touched. Runs it at the line with a chance to cut it to one. 3.39 to go. First free throw is up. Oh, my fucking God. He missed it. The Knicks have missed like four free throws this quarter. Now Chet's checking back in for the first time in the fourth. Come on, man. Come on, man. One time. One time bring us home, Jalen Brunson. One time. You're three of five from the line. His second free throw. No good. Dude. Hartenstein battling. Offensive rebound by the Knicks. Brunson, three. Good. Bang. 104-104. Hartenstein and Hart doing what they can. Now it's about defense. Williams drives, stolen. Knicks are out running. Hart to Brunson. Now slow it down. Brunson in the corner, guarded by Giddy. He'll launch. Halfway down. It was halfway down. Rebound by OKC. They've got numbers. SGA from three. No good. Rebound by Hartenstein. Oh. He throws it up ahead to Josh. Josh to Chen. Fucking Josh. Josh Hart, you dumb fuck. What are you doing? Jesus Christ! Jalen Williams, three. Josh Hart is the dumbest motherfucker I've ever seen. 104, 104, three minutes to go, and he's throwing an alley oop! What are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Josh Hart, dude, you are dumb as fucking rocks. McBride drives, Dante, three. No good. It's over. Fucking idiot, man. Josh Hart, you are a fucking idiot. You are a fucking idiot. Luckily, Josh Giddy's an idiot, and he just throws it away. Hart drives, layup, no good. 
foul will go to the line for two. Why the fuck would you ever throw an alley-oop in transition in a two-point game? Ball. How fucking dumb are you? And he misses oh, the free throw. Three in a row missed by Hart and Brunson. This has been a pattern for him, too, late in games with the free throw shooting. There we go. Two-point game. This fucking dude, Josh Hart, man. Two-point game, two minutes to go. Jalen Williams handles up top. They're trying to post up SGA versus Steven Chenzo. They will at the foul line. He'll face him up, puts it on the deck, spins into a... And of course he gets a foul. Of course he gets a foul. Hopefully that's on Dukes and not Devo. I just don't get it, man. How the fuck do you win a national championship in college and think that's a good play? SGA free throw good. Nick's down by three. I cannot believe he just fucking did that. I cannot believe Josh Hart just did that. Makes both. Makes down four. 150 to go. Holy shit, Josh Hart, dude. I cannot believe he just tried to throw an alley-oop to a white man on a fast break with two minutes to go of down two. Deuce from the three. Good. Ooh. Deuce McBride for three. Huge. One point game. How about a stop, Josh? How about you fucking D up? Williams hunts the matchup of Brunson. He launches from 18. Good. Good. Got Josh Hart hiding on Josh Giddy. He's scared. He said, I don't want him anymore. He already used and abused me. I don't want him. Nick's back down by three. 90 seconds to go to Josh Hart inside, and his pass is deflected. I can't remember the last time he's ever played this bad. Oh, my God. This motherfucker, Josh Hart. Brunson catches it off the inbound. 10 seconds to go. Guarded by Jalen Williams. He'll, long, he'll look to go to the rim. Throws it back out to Deuce. Deuce to Dante. Dante open three. No good. Rebound by OKC. 110 to go. Here comes SGA. Man, they choked this bitch. Got 10 going. They choked this one. SGA up top. Looking to end the game. His three. No good. Rebound by DiVincenzo. And there he's going to be fouled. He'll be fouled. He'll go to the line for two. Two Terrible. free throws coming up for Dante with 53 seconds to go. That's a big mistake by Giddy right there. Imagine if Josh Hart just played like he had a brain. One time. One time. If you just didn't bang your head against the wall in free time. Motherfucker threw an alley-oop to a white man in transition with two minutes to go in a two-point game. I mean, also, the decision was terrible. The pass was even worse. The pass was awful. DiVincenzo, free throw, no good. You don't deserve to win. Brunson misses two. Josh Hart misses one. Dante DiVincenzo misses one. That's two, three, four. Oh, you're down three. You make your free throws. You're winning the game. You didn't make the winning plays. Didn't make the winning plays again. Dante makes a second. Down by two. 53 seconds to go. Oh, my God. This, this team, man. Jalen Williams will control. 40 on the clock. And then we call foul on doing? Dante DiVincenzo 50 feet from the basket. I, I don't get what he's complaining about either. Like, come on, dude. 
Man. Like, look at him. What, what are you doing? You just grab his arm. What are you complaining about? That's why you sign guys like DiVincenzo. Why you sign guys like Hart. Why you add guys like Brunson. To make the plays in crunch time. Just didn't do it today. Luckily, Jalen Williams missed the free throw. Is, are, are these moments too big for them? Are these moments too big for them? Do you need Randall that bad? You need OG? You need someone else to do it? I mean, how many times have we seen Brunson miss clutch free throws at the Knicks? Williams, second free throw. He missed, he missed it. Both. He fucking missed it both. He is the Thunder are begging you to win. Go do it. Two-point game. Brunson controls. Oh, Guarded by Wallace. Clear it out. Clear it out. Brunson drives, spins, gets to the foul line. Fall away two. No good. Out of bounds off OKC. Oh Josh Hart was about to go grab the ball. Josh Hart was about to go grab the ball. Knicks are going to have another chance here. They just got to ca capitalize, man. OKC is giving you this ball game. They are begging you to take this game. They are begging you. 27 seconds left, 14 on the shot clock. Brunson's got to close one of these games. Man. One time! Like, uh, one time, Jalen Brunson! I mean, he's been great all year, no doubt. But, like, that is the one gripe I've had with him. The last two games you've played were playoff intensity. You folded against the Spurs. Let's see what you do tonight. You've already started to fold. Go do it, man. Two big missed free throws, though. Josh Hart missing free throws. Brunson missing Brunson. free throws. Dante DiVincenzo missing free throws. Josh Hart turning the ball over. Where's that winning feel? Where's that again? Reach in and grab it. Losing is contagious. So is winning. Let's start doing the fun stuff. Knicks will throw it in. 14 on the shot clock. Down by two. Steven Chenzo will throw it in. The starters are in the game. Steven Chenzo grabs it. He throws it into McBride. McBride out to Brunson. Brunson on the right wing, guarded by Dork. Gets a screen from Hardenstein. Gets downhill. He attacks Chet. Now gets into the lane. He loses his step. Pump fake step through. He'll go to the line for two. You better fucking make these. You better fucking make these. Down by two with 18 seconds. You say on the podcast you don't feel pressure. Pressure's eating you up right now. You missed two free throws earlier. You told you you told everybody you don't feel pressure. How about you come in an ice cold and knock these down? Come on. Three is six from the line tonight. 18 seconds. Knicks down by two. First free throw. Good. Good. Come on, man. Knicks have one timeout. OKC has two. Brunson makes the first. Second one is up, and he missed it. Oh, my God. He ain't built for it. Hardenstein, Hardenstein with the board. DiVincenzo, corner three. In and out. Deuce tried to tap it in. Out of bounds off OKC. Brunson. Maybe he ain't built for it. Maybe he ain't built for it. Maybe he just ain't built for this shit. They this were, ain't Dallas. They throw this, ball in. this ain't little Pennsylvania. This is New York fucking city, dude. And maybe you just ain't built for it. Motherfucker said on his podcast he doesn't feel pressure. You crumble like a little hoe today. All right, they got another chance, though. DiVincenzo will throw it in with 12 seconds. He gets it to McBride. McBride back to Brunson. 
Brunson, 10 seconds to go. Can he get it done? He'll drive, gets to the lane, lay up, up and in! About damn time! About damn time! Finally, you show up! Finally! Let's go! It should have been in one! 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 Y'all challenged a flagrant, and Jalen Williams didn't get touched. Brunson gets smacked! How? How is that not a foul? And one. Should have been and one. Four seconds. Now you got to play defense. You got to play defense. A foul and they're at the line. Each team has one timeout. This motherfucker missed four, three fourth quarter free throws. He did it last year. He missed clutch free throws. About to stop. Give me some D's in the chat for Come defense. On. Let's go. 2,200 people watching. I don't think Brunson should be on the floor right here. And it will not be. Daquan Jeffries is checking in the game. He hasn't played all day with four seconds left. He'll guard the inbound. It's Jeffries, it's McBride, it's Achua, it's Hart, and it's Dante. You know where they're going. They're going to their MVP or maybe SGA. Giddy throws it into SGA. Fall away two. Good. 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 That's what an MVP does. Never phase. Cool. Calm. Caught it. Rose up. Buckets. That's what an MVP does. Let's see if ours can do it with 1.8 seconds to go. 1.8 to go. No emotion from the killer. Our dude makes a shot after missing two free throws and he parades around the court. Maybe there's just levels to this shit. Knicks have had some good luck when it comes to game winners in the past on Easter Sunday. Can they do it again? Can we do it again? 1.8 seconds. That's a catch and that's a dribble and that's a jumper. Here we go. Here we go. 113, 112. 1 1.8 seconds to go. It's the starters in the game. DiVincenzo, McBride, Hartenstein, Hart, and Brunson. DiVincenzo will throw it in. Chet Holmgren defending the inbound. DiVincenzo looking to get it in. Can't find anybody. He gets it back door to Brunson. Brunson, fall away! No good. Knicks lose. Knicks Choke again in the fourth quarter. Their MVP hits that shot. Ours does not. Their MVP guards ours. Ours does not. Knicks lose. New York Knicks lose. Don't deserve to win. Don't deserve to win. Starts with blowing a 10 point lead in the fourth. Knicks have a fourth quarter problem. Which is the last thing you would expect from the team. 
What a fucking horrible inbound play as well. And they deserve the win. Talk to the rest and now, of the dude. It, it, dude, this bro, you're, you've stop. been acting like a pussy for about a month now. Crying about foul calls, missing game yes. winners, missing clutch fourth quarter shots, and immediately after the game, you go and cry to the ref? And it's also starting to wear off on his teammates because now they're all, they all yap after every oh, single man. play. That ain't, that ain't the killer we fell in love with. That ain't the killer we fell in love with. Crying to the refs has to stop. Don't see SGA doing that at all. Rick Brunson should be embarrassed. First thing you do after the game. And the missed free throws as well. Good point. Motherfucker went to the ref after, after the game to go cry. It's embarrassing. It's you got embarrassing. DiVincenzo yapping after every single play that doesn't go his way. Nah. Villanova boys, didn't, they didn't show up in that fourth quarter for you. It's when they're supposed to be here and win your games. Jalen Brunson, three missed free throws in the fourth quarter. You get outscored in the fourth quarter, 38-27. to 27. You start the fourth quarter up by 10. It's You're down by one in two minutes. Um, maybe the moment's just too big for them. Maybe the moment's just too big for these guys. Maybe these moments are too big for the Knicks. Didn't deserve to win. Didn't deserve to win. Didn't deserve to win. Didn't deserve to win. Do you guys realize that the Knicks missed five fourth quarter free throws and were complaining about the refs? Jalen Brunson, he missed three. Not that even Chenzo missed one. Hart missed one. Do you want the refs to make free throws for the Knicks too? Like, listen, obviously the Knicks did not get some calls tonight, no doubt about it. But like, that's not the reason they lost. Like, it's just a cop out. There's bigger issues here. Like, the Knicks have a fourth quarter problem. They have an end of the game problem. Back-to-back -back games, the Spurs looked more in control than you in the fourth quarter. The Spurs. The, the Thunder looked more in control in the fourth quarter. SJ didn't even play until the five-minute mark. SJ and, didn't even play good today. And he came in ice cold, last shot. Came in and he... Nothing. Right no. over you for the win. No emotion, no running around the court. Just no killer style. The refs, like... Killer style. Very disappointed in Jalen Brunson. Very disappointed. Also, I, I, I got to... I got a little bone to pick with Steven Chenzo. Like, his just whining to the refs has been just driving me crazy. And then his shot selection. Like, you take 18 shots, 16 of those are threes. And I bet you at least half of those threes are just terrible looks. 
fading away. That's another bad loss. It's another bad loss. Bad losses are stacking. They're stacking up. You're, you're eight games away from the playoffs. You kind of just are who you are at this point. Um, I don't know. So the Knicks just getting blitzed at the beginning of these quarters sometimes is, I mean, it's concerning. Jalen Brunson literally immediately after the game went to go cry to the refs. He looked like a little country club boy right there. Yep. A little country club boy. Daddy on Daddy's the coach for the AAU team. Uh, very, very bad look for him. Knicks fall to 44 and 30. South Holland coming in. $5 super chat. We're also going to be doing the raffle um, for the Walt Clyde Frazier um, signed poster. So if you guys want to get in there, $10 super chat. We're going to be doing last call for that. So get your last uh, second tickets in there you guys would like, but South Island saying Burks and Bogey are nothing. Tibbs has to figure out what to do with their minutes when Brunson is out. At this point, Brunson can't leave the game. How about you just make your fourth quarter free throws? Yeah, I mean. Like, how about the guy that we always talk about is the MVP, always always good things to say about him. Um, you can't have your best player miss three fourth quarter free throws. You can't have Josh Hart turn the ball over on a fast break down by two with two minutes left by trying to throw an alley-oop. You can't have Josh Hart miss fourth quarter free throws. You can't have Dante DiVincenzo miss fourth quarter free throws. You can't have Dante DiVincenzo foul 50 feet away from the basket yep. in a half-court defensive possession with less than two minutes. Just really grabbed his arm. Like... I understand Bergs and Bogey or nothing, but they didn't lose you this game. You lost this game. Because your point guard did not close the deal. You lost the game because you started the game up 10 in the fourth quarter, and they came back in one and a half minutes. Burks and Bogey played 10 minutes of poppy. They're not the reason you lost. You didn't lose because of Burks and Bogey. In the NBA, it comes down to whose stars play better. It comes down to... What stars make the winning plays at the end of the game? Jalen Brunson missed three clutch free throws. Josh Hart turned it over, and he missed a clutch free throw. Dante DiVincenzo missed a corner three. He missed a clutch free throw. Jalen Brunson missed the game winner. Their player, SGA, did not. It is that simple. Exactly, Sal Paul. Make your free throws and you win the game. Yep. Plus, the Thunder were giving you opportunities to win this game, too. Eric Trump saying, damn, bruv, two games in a row losing like that. Free throw has been killing us since early season. How is it still an issue? Maybe not be a finals team, or may not be a finals team, missing a piece in the squad. 
drum that gets you another ticket. Knicks are 15 and 14 in games decided by five points or less this year. I think that tells you everything you need to know about this team. You are 15 and 14 in games decided by five points or less. Can't miss clutch free throws, man. SGA doesn't miss clutch free throws. 15 and 14 in games decided by five points or less. What does that tell you about your team? You're not good in close game situations. You aren't the team that's closing the games the way you need to. Now, blue Josh Hart just tried to throw a fucking alley oop in transition. Danny McGrath coming in with a $100 super chat. Danny, we appreciate you, man. I'm sorry if I'm being negative, but you know what? I'm officially worried about this team. I am. I'm officially worried about this team. Um, I can't fake the funk with you guys. I am who I am, and that's why I believe I'm great at what I do. Uh, I'm always going to be real. I'm always going to be passionate, and I'm going to tell you what I think. Um, I am worried about this team. And if, if, that is, if that is too much for you to have someone critical of them, then this program is probably not for you. There are other people out there that do what we do. Not nearly as good, but you could check them out. Um, I say all I have to say, Danny, I appreciate you. Thank you for the $100 Super Chat, my man. Uh, the support that you continuously show this show, it, it means the world to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Because at that, we are in the playoffs, and the Knicks look better than 10 years. Be positive and let's go, Knicks chat. Let's go, Knicks. I'm with you. I'm, I'm with you. Look, they've, they've, this, we've been spoiled. Uh, so that's how bad it has been for Knicks fans. Um, we've been spoiled by two winning regular seasons. And this team shows you how good they can be. But tonight shows you, in my opinion, how far you are away. Um, yeah, you could say, Marshall, they're down three starters. Well, one, Mitchell Robinson's not a starter on this team anymore. Isaiah Hardenstein is just as good of a player as him, and he's been out since December. And, and when it comes to Julius Randle, sure. Um, you didn't lose because you didn't have the players. You lost because your players didn't play good enough when it mattered most. Um, I think it's kind of weird just to blame the injuries when this is your team. There are eight games in the regular yeah. season left. Julius Randle's not going to wake up one day with 14 days until the end of the regular season and say, I think my shoulder's good. And OG's going to wake up one day and say, oh, my elbow's good. This is who you are going to war with. This has been your team for the large part of the season. Um, I'm, I'm officially worried. I'm officially worried. Um. And honestly, that wasn't a foul on Jalen Brunson's game winner. He made the layup. The ball was already out of his hands, and then there was contact in the air. That wasn't a foul.
That wasn't a foul. Silent Sniper, what up, man? Appreciate the support, bro. Says, come on. We as Knicks fans have to stop this. Yes, it was a bad loss, but let's not forget we're missing three. Um... I don't know. I just, I just, I think that's kind of lame. I think it's kind of lame to blame it that you don't have three players. Um, look, uh, everyone's more than more than okay to feel their way. I don't come out of this game with any thoughts of if we had our players, we could win, because the players we had on the floor, mainly Jalen Brunson, did not close the deal. I just respectfully disagree. Um, SGA played five minutes in the fourth quarter. Chet played four. Chet played four. Um, it's not like they had their guys. SGA was doubtful. And 19 points. There are no moral victories in professional sports. Just <laughs> scoreboards. And ours reads that we lost. This isn't a, oh, we lost by one, and if we had Randall and OG. No, we may not get them back. And I don't think you're getting Randall back. Exactly, CTJ. You could have won the game. You should have won the game, and you did not. You had a 10-point lead to start the fourth. 10-point lead to start the fourth. Danny McGrath coming in. What up, D Murda? Thank you, brother. Thank you, man. Says, Every team is worried. Have you seen? Let's go, Nick. You're right, but did you put money on the Chiefs? I did put money on the Chiefs. I did bet money on the Chiefs. Um, I mean, you're 15 and 14 in games decided by less than five points. If I'm a coach, all I say to my team is keep this close in the fourth quarter and they'll yep. fold. And that is the opposite of who we think our team is. But the proof is in the pudding. Um, I don't know. Um, Y'all are more optimistic than me, and I give you credit for that. So with the Heat winning today, Sets up a huge game on Tuesday because right now you're three games out of the plan where that's where the Miami Heat are in the seventh seed. Obviously, if you drop that game, they bring that to two. Um, we could do it right now. We could do it right now. Look at all the real ones. Got over 503 names on here. Shout out to all of you guys. Bet you Bronx boys going to come in uh, second. How long you got the wheel spin for? 30. 30? All right. Shout out to everybody that showed love throughout the month of March. We've been doing a March-long raffle for the signed Walt Clyde Frazier photo. Um, whoever wins it, I will need your shipping address and info, so I will be in touch with all of you. Good luck to everybody. I wish everybody could win, but... Um, Is that from the dressing room? <laughs> the Alexa device in the dressing room? Is that what it is? I think so. I just want to go unplug that piece or something. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's where it's coming from. Yeah. I 
because it was loud. All right, if you guys are ready. All right, let's spin the wheel to see who the raffle winner is. Here we go. How many names? 503. 503 names on here. Well, let's get all the real ones. It's going to be in between two Bronx boys. That's all I know. Can't even see it. I don't know who it is. Don't say. I want to see it pop I up. Can't. Oh. I think I know. I think I know. It's Ghost Rider! No way! <laughs> the Ghost Rider! Let's go! He wins! He wins! The Ghost Rider! Dude, I don't think he had a lot in there. Yeah, he sent so, he sent a couple hundreds the last month. Who were the two? Really? <laughs> the Ghost Rider. The ghost Rider. He may not be here, but he's always here. Yeah, we'll so be we'll be in here. contact with him. Shout out to the Ghost Rider. Let's if go. you come back and watch this. Um, Shout out to the Ghost Rider. Also, shout out to Anthony Danaher. He was our bang god for the month of March. He is going to be winning that jersey, and he's giving it to, to uh, Joey DeLuca. So that's pretty damn cool. That is pretty damn cool. Let's just talk about the queen in the first half and then the injury stuff okay. in the second half. Don't mean tease me. I'll just, I can verbalize it. Bronx boy wants to know if he was nearby. <laughs> it's hard to tell because gonna, there were so many names. Yeah, I'm gonna need to zoom in. I don't see. I see a couple drumps around there. Drump had a lot. Drump had a lot. Yeah. Also, see who's. Who's saying Jingle Brunson is making that free throw today if it is a foul? He already oh, missed three yeah. in the corner. But whatever. I'm not going to deflect and, and not acknowledge why the Knicks lost today's game. They lost today's game because they didn't play the right way in crunch time. They went they didn't play the they, they didn't they didn't they didn't close the game. They didn't close the game. Achua two of four. Bogdanovich one at two. Brunson four of eight from the foul line. Four of eight from the foul line, and immediately after the game, you go and cry to the rep that you didn't get a foul call? Oh, your dad should be embarrassed. He should grab your ass and rip your ass away from the refs and say, get in the locker room, son. It's also the Thunder. They were 12 of 24 from the free throw line today. Josh Hart, four turnovers. Four turnovers for Josh Hart. Three for Jalen Brunson. Johnson, you said this is the first time we lost when we led going into the fourth. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, let's talk about it. Another heartbreaking loss for the New York Knicks as they fall 113 to 112 to the Oklahoma City Thunder. I got some pretty strong thoughts about today's game and we'll share that. But to close today's video, Tom Thibodeau has spoken about Mitchell Robinson, OG Ananobi, and Julius Randle and given some injury updates. And like today's game, it's not good news for the New York Knicks. Um, I'm going to try to choose my words wisely here, and I often struggle with that because I am an emotional Knicks fan. I wear my emotions on my sleeve, but I am very, very upset with the way that Jalen Brunson played in that fourth quarter, and the thing that really upsets me the most about him is from this game, 
was immediately after the game he is shown on the MSG broadcast crying and whining to the officials immediately after the game. After you missed three fourth quarter free throws. After you missed the game winner. And after you had multiple turnovers. Three turnovers today for Brunson. Uh, missed three clutch, clutch fourth quarter free throws. And even if that was a foul on the shot that gave the Knicks the 112, 111 lead, why are we acting as if he was going to make that? This isn't the first time Jalen Brunson has missed clutch free throws. He did it a couple times last year. He's done it a couple times this year. I am the biggest Jalen Brunson fan in the world. I love that dude. But he let you down today. He let you down. Um, can't miss clutch free throws. You can't. And you did. Three of them. You've been phenomenal. You saved the New York Knicks. You're arguably the greatest Nick since Patrick Ewing. But at some point, you got to be a big dog. You got to be that dude and hit a fucking game winner. Win the game for the Knicks. Make some clutch free throws. You said on your podcast that you don't feel pressure. Pressure ate you up in the fourth quarter. You missed three clutch free throws. You missed another game winner. And that's okay. And that's okay. But don't go cry to the ref right after the game like they are the reason you lost. The reason you lost is in part because you did not show up in the fourth quarter. But more importantly, the New York Knicks have a fourth quarter problem now. They looked all helter-skelter against the Oklahoma City Thunder tonight, and they looked like a team that had 17 wins against a 50-win team against the San Antonio Spurs. Back-to-back -back games that you get blitzed in the start of the fourth quarter. You're down one against the San Antonio Spurs two days ago, and they come out on a 12-0-something run in the fourth quarter, and then you're playing catch-up. You start the fourth quarter today up by 10 points. A minute and a half into the game, you are losing. The New York Knicks, as currently constructed, have a fourth quarter issue. The New York Knicks today allowed 38 points in the fourth quarter to the Oklahoma City Thunder. They scored 27. Josh Hart. Josh Hart. Josh Hart. 13 points, 15 rebounds. I appreciate that. The dumb plays are killing this team. You had two fourth quarter turnovers. You missed a free throw in the fourth quarter. And for some reason, you thought it was a good idea, down by two, with less than two minutes to go, in transition, to throw an alley-oop to Dante DiVincenzo, when you could have fired a chess pass to him, and he could have laid it up in it. What are you doing? And then Dante DiVincenzo, you miss your fourth quarter free throws. 16 of your 18 shots are threes? At some point, you got to get back to being a good shot taker and not someone that just jacks up horrible shots. And then you foul in the final two minutes 50 feet away from the basket. Dante DiVincenzo made plays in the fourth quarter that cost you. Josh Hart made plays in the fourth quarter that cost you. Jalen Brunson made plays in the fourth quarter that cost you. Let's not blame the refs on this one. The Knicks did not close the deal, and they only have themselves to blame. Missed fourth quarter free throws, turnovers in the fourth quarter. Um, I'm worried. I am worried about this team because I think we need to understand that OG and Julius Randle are most likely not coming back. And if you play like this, 
in the fourth quarter of the playoffs, it might be night, night in round one. It was playoff intensity against the Spurs. You crumbled. It was playoff intensity against the Thunder. You crumbled. At some point, Jalen Brunson, you want to be a 1A? I believe you're a 1A. But you got to go do it. You want to be in the MVP conversation? You got to hit that shot like SGA hit it. You got to make your fourth quarter free throws instead of going and crying to the refs looking like a country club kid. We all believe in you. We all want to put you up there. It's a results-based business. Do it. You folded in game six against Miami down the stretch. You turned it over. You didn't get it done today. You missed multiple fourth quarter free throws throughout your career. You've missed two free throws in the fourth quarter back to back before. I know OG's not here. I know Randall's not here. It doesn't matter. You should have won this game, and you didn't, and you couldn't. We'll talk more about injuries coming up around the corner, but first got to give a huge shout-out to today's sponsor, Price Picks. PricePicks.com slash CLNS, promo code CLNS, and Price Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. Price Picks is the number one daily fantasy sports app in the game. It's fun, it's easy, and it's exciting. All you do is create a lineup of two to six players, and you simply choose more or less on their projected stat line. The NBA action is heating up with the playoffs about two weeks away, and March Madness is still ongoing as we are days away from the Final Four in the National Championship. Get hooked up with Prize Picks. Support the show. Be a real one. PrizePicks.com slash CLNS. Use that promo code CLNS, and they'll match your first deposit up to $100. Knicks are now in the fourth seed. They choke versus the Thunder. They choke versus the Spurs. They they could be tied for the two seed right now. And it's only getting worse. As Mitchell Robinson did not play against the Oklahoma City Thunder, he has re-injured that same ink ankle that he had surgery on, and he did not play, and I do not know if he is going to return this year. Um, it's the second time this season that Mitchell Robinson <clears throat> has been hurt after being cleared by the medical team. Julius Randle has still not been cleared for contact. Julius Randle has not played since January 27th. The playoffs are two weeks away. Is something going to change with his shoulder in two weeks? I do not know. If Julius Randle is not ready to go in the last five games of the regular season, he should just get surgery. Because I don't need to see him play his way back into shape and into basketball form again in game one of the playoffs like he did against the Cavaliers where he was quite literally terrible and, almost, and, and didn't try. More bad news. What a day. OG Ananobi hasn't taken any contact in a practice setting since he's been sidelined with right elbow injury management. Tom Thibodeau also on if there is concern within the medical staff that OG Ananobi could not come back this season. Just deal with reality day to day. What the hell does that mean? Maybe it's just we're the Knicks and we're cursed. You have eight games left. You have eight games left. Your team is your team. I am officially worried about the injuries, and I am officially worried about this basketball team. Um, well, that's starting 20 days. It's, it's not February. It's not January. It's April. March is over with. You are 20 days away. And that's from the playoffs. If you don't close out the season well, you'll be playing in 14 days in the play-in. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm fucking worried. I'm worried. I don't know. I don't know. Let's do our part. Hit that thumbs up icon for me. Uh, I don't know how else to get them healthy, but let's like the video. Maybe the more likes we get, the more likely they'll be healthy. Because I'm starting to think if they don't get healthy, they might just be done in round one. Ever since the Lakers game, teams have forced other players to beat you. And the Knicks really haven't had much success doing it. 
And even when they let Jalen Brunson win of the game, he misses freaking clutch free throws. I believe in Jalen Brunson. I love him. I am thankful he is a New York Nick. He's the best New York Nick, maybe since Ewing, maybe since Carmel Anthony. But at some time, to be the king, you got to sit in the chair. And he needs to go and sit in that chair. Make sure you hit me up on social media. We'll see y'all later. Johnson, you rolling in. Thunder ran 11 guys today. All 11 played more than 10 plus minutes. Maybe the heavy minutes are taking a toll on these guys. I don't know. East Coast games, man. Yeah, I mean, I think it definitely is. I mean, play all these close games. You got guys like Josh Hart even again tonight playing 45 plus minutes. Like, it's definitely going to take a toll, but it's kind of just the reality at this Danny McGrath coming in, saying, I hear you. F Miami. That's when it out. Love you, Marshall. Sorry, reality sucks. But we are in New York, and we do that as underdogs. Love the positivity. I'm and trying, guy. I can't, though. I can't fake the funk. I, 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 respect, I can't do it. I can't lie to you guys about how I feel. Um, they just played soft in the full. They, they played soft and stupid, and that's not like who, that's just not who they are. We fell in love with this team because of grit, grind, high IQ, and winning plays. Yep. We haven't seen much of that recently. Um, and if you're this dependent on Randall and OG, you got different problems. And also, it's gonna, it's gonna hit them in the face because it's three weeks from now when you're in the playoffs and it's round one. And let's just say you got, I don't know, what if, what if you mess around and get Miami? And you still are dealing with these injuries. You can be riding that high, so high in the NBA, and then what? They won their Super Bowl in January. They won their Super Bowl in January. Media tour for Brunson. That's on every commercial. Dude, he's on the late night show. He's he's doing this. He's doing that. You watch March Madness. He's on every three commercial. Three times a game. Uh, I got a podcast. How about free throws, dog. Free. Throws. If you make your free throws, you win the game. Yep. You win the game if you make your free throws. So please, if you're watching this show, I just ask you to not blame this game on the refs. You did not lose this game because of the refs. You lost this game because your best players in the fourth quarter did not play their best. Quite literally that simple. Got the heat on Tuesday. Heat on Tuesday. They're important with that playing, man. Just even when he goes on these shows, like he, he like plays like a gamesmanship with the refs. Like just stop thinking about him. What about in the first quarter he gets a foul and he says, finally I get one. Yeah. Like it, it's a it's a spoiled kid. Like I understand. Listen, I agree with him. He gets fouled more and doesn't get it called more than anybody in the NBA. But you're not doing yourself any favors because the ref probably just sees him going like, "Finally, I got one. Finally," and they're like, "Fuck off! I'm not giving you the next one." Like it's just natural. It's human nature. It just needs to stop. If I was Tom Thibodeau, I would say, "If anybody complains about the refs again, you're sitting on the bench." Also, when Divincenzo yanked his arm. He literally turns to the ref, starts chewing him out. I'm like, dude, you, like, we all just saw the replay. You're not fooling anybody. It's a poison that's just going up and down this team.
Josh Giddy cooked you. Josh Giddy was cooking DiVincenzo and Hart. DiVincenzo and Hart looks like little boys out there today. Di DiVincenzo, that was a, that was the worst game of the year. He was getting cooked on defense. He was just yapping, couldn't hit a shot, taking terrible shots. All right, we're going to sign off, boys. We'll see you all later.